We return to Stardew Valley for the uh, 100 Days playthrough. We are back on one of the later parts. I honestly forget how many parts of this I've been playing. I've just been wanting to do this challenge for like a year. I haven't had the time or opportunity to do it. Because I'm starting to appreciate what a, a labyrinthine winding game Stardew Valley is. It is long. You learn things that you wish you had known before and you feel bad about yourself when you're done, but in the end, you feel like you learn something for the next time you play. So, for right now, I think I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm like, comfortably lost. I feel good in that I, f I feel like a happy failure, you know? Like, I did a good job face-planting on this whole challenge, and I know it, it won't be, like, optimal or anything like that, but I, in that, I take some level of comfort. That is the cat. Anyway, what we're going to be trying to do today is get through the fall, probably uh, explore the inner machinations of my mind, as I have been for much of this series. Uh, and then, uh, whatever I say we would even accomplish, we'll probably try to get animals. Yeah, that would be nice. We're going to have, um, oh, what's her name over there? Robin will complete the, um, oh, look, these eggplants get harvested and they leave the plant that's so very generous of them to do that we'll have her do the barn and the coop i believe although i probably should have done the barn first but yeah we have some money we're going to be harvesting some of these plants these pumpkins so we should get a decent yield our farm really we really didn't do a very good job today in general but or like really uh, on this farm at all but you know maybe eventually we'll have enough sprinklers to farm the whole thing i think it could be cool but um yeah, that's just me. Anyway, in the meantime, we're trying to locate a lady and give her a lot of salad. Because women love it when you make them salad. And that is, honestly, um, that is my exclusive dating tip for uh, Stardew Valley for the rest of time. Um, just be a farmer and make them salads, and they love that. Um, works every single time. Like magic. Anyway, I'm trying to think uh, other stuff that I wanted to talk about. Okay. Um, what other stuff? Did I see that Hassan Abbey watch one of my videos? Is that how you say his name? I know that he's very famous. And he's a very good-looking guy. Uh, I did see that he watched one of them. Was, I watched a little bit of his commentary. Yeah, it was interesting to see him do it from like a political perspective a little bit. Doesn't he do some of that stuff? He watched one of the City Skylines videos, I believe, right? I like that. You know, I like that. It has other people watching them. I didn't realize that so many people were like hemming and hawing about it, you know. Hass and Abby watched your video. Did you know? Did you know that LeBron James watched one of your videos and he liked it? Wow. LeBron James. I'm just trying to think of famous people. I don't know if LeBron James... I've always wondered that, though. Sometimes people, like famous people, will watch something that... Like LeBron James. <laughs> oh my god. LeBron watched one of my videos. <laughs> Fan, love the work. Hey, press Dio Besto. Thank you very much for the very kind words. Hmm. Alright. Let me see. What other stuff am I trying to do today? Really go a little bit further down the mines. That might be nice. Oh, but now I do know the way of the TV. I know the way of the weather report. I feel good about how I'm managing a lot of the game. I had to learn this because I was a stupid boy the last time. Spirits are in good humor today. Oh, this is a great day for going down in the mines. The mines. The mines. Although my energy is very low. Oh, I could just eat the salads I was going to give to that lady. But instead, pro tip here, save them for yourself. That way you can conserve your energy for when you're talking to the ladies. Hey, ladies. <laughs> Just kidding. Be good to other people. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going on about here. AA's dating tips. In order to cultivate a love for another, one must cultivate first a love for oneself. Emotional intelligence with AA. I think we did cover some meaty topics in the last couple of videos. I do believe that's true. Uh, but more relevant to the channel, I suppose. Uh, let me tell you guys a little bit about the editor situation. I suppose that this is interesting because... Well, I've been doing Stardew. I, this challenge is a bit grindy. 
But my goal is to do more challenges like this that took me a little bit more time because now we have the editors to work with. Uh, I've got six of them. I'm honestly like, I'm going to talk to him about this and this is, I'm pretty transparent about everything because I like to speak my mind on Twitch and like what I'm thinking. So I don't really think I'm keeping any secrets from anybody right here. But yeah, like a lot of them are really, really talented people and I want to give them enough stuff that they're like happy. Um... But I also want to make sure, like, I'm, I'm good to the people I work with. Uh, my main thing with editors is I think I want to give them a lot of choice in their projects, because my, from my experience working as a teacher, people really love it when you give them choice to work with whatever project they want to, um, and be creative about it, and, like, learn whatever they want, and not, like, when they're forced to do one thing. That sucks. Nobody wants to do that. Um, so that's really my main priority, number one, is I just really want them to be happy. Um, even if I don't end up working with the people that I would consider, like, the very best among them, although there's people uh, I do really want to work with, so... But yeah, I've got six people right now, so I'm really just, like, l making this whole dream list of projects, of videos I've always wanted to do. And basically, if things work out the way I want them to, um... The person who's kind of pipeline for projects I'm, I'm really kind of envious of is Call Me Kevin. And I just think he's got a really cool, like, um, setup with his team. And I really like that. And I don't know if I would quite go to that frequent yet, like, the way that he uploads. Um, although I just, I, I've always kind of, like, looked up to him as somebody that, um, you know, has kind of, like, stood the test of time on YouTube. And also just, like, is, is a very nice person. And someone I would, whom I would consider like a good acquaintance or like a slight friend if he would allow that. Um, I've played with him only once and we've chatted once, but like just a good guy and um, somebody who's like mentored and guided me slightly along the way, even if just through his actions and like, I don't know, um, kind of like playing off of each other's ideas a little bit. But yeah, I really love that and I think it would allow me to do more of my ideas on YouTube and like just seeing what him and a bunch of my other friends have done. I'm like... I'm incredibly excited. I am stressed, but I'm like the good kind of stressed where I just feel like so happy with what I'm going to be doing next. And I haven't felt this excited to make stuff in a really long time because I was feeling a little bit allergic to some of the video process. Uh, I mean, I had said that and like I slowed things down a little bit, but yeah, I mean, it's the reason why we get to do videos like this like Stardew Valley, um, or why I get to do such just an excessive series of like, hey, let's just stream this game for 24 hours. Of course I am beginning to realize that this large a project is something that I can't do, so I am, like the whole process is being greeted also with just failures, like, oh, this is an idea that's totally implausible to execute on. Um, but I also want to make sure I'm just doing things that, you know, are totally fun to me and really like the gameplay. The gameplay, and particularly the scripting, I think, just telling stories is my favorite part of making these videos. Um, so I think for me, I'm really doing what I most love. I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to evolve, ho, but it's just so much fun. I'm really happy. Like, I haven't been this happy in years. Um, and I'm not exaggerating when I say that, though. Yeah, like, I, I honestly haven't been this happy. And it, it also is just partly punctuated by, like, just... Um, Having, having a little bit more time, like, in real life to just kind of reflect and sit back. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know, I wasn't in a very... Like, I wasn't in a bad place months ago, but I was sort of, like, feeling like... Feeling like I was in golden handcuffs in a lot of ways. And, like, that they were becoming more and more constricting, and I was just like, ah, uh, this isn't... Re this doesn't feel good. Um, and I'm glad that I made a change. And I also met for one more time with my YouTube partner. And, like, it just seems like he's done, uh... Yeah, like, he was just a really good guy to work with. Um, but, yeah, just, like, super chill. And, like, the, the thing that I liked about it was he actually listened... To, like, he watched all of my streams one by one. And I got a really personal treatment. I was just impressed. I thought I would be treated like a statistic in, like, an organization as big as YouTube. But, yeah, like, he went through all my individual live streams and watched them all the way through, which is, like, a huge time commitment. But yeah, like, I, I don't know, I just feel blessed that I, uh, like, have the disposal of so many people's, like, advice and opinions and things. And sometimes I just become too, like, self-reliant. And I don't really take advantage, I don't realize how many people are there for me. Um, like, running a channel of this size now. And I, it was just, like, a really validating experience. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, I'm kind of like owning up to that role a little bit more now, I suppose. And uh, yeah, I'm like, uh, I'm really excited over the next few months. Like, I can't wait to see what happens. I know it's not, I know there's going to be a lot of roadblocks and stuff like that, but I also think, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm like, I'm, I'm excited to confront them and I'm not afraid of them. So I am a happy boy. That's where I'm at though. Anyway, but I, I don't know. I just wanted to share that. Because it's, it's high on my mind, and if I didn't talk about it, I would just be talking around it. So there I am. Anyway, back to Stardew Valley a little bit. But some of it does relate, and I'll kind of go through that. These mines are looking particularly different. What are we on now? 70? It's like a new area entirely. Also, Bane, thank you very much. Haiti Ho, how you doing? Appreciate the sub. Watching the series on Project Zomboid. Great series. Love Stardew Valley. Have a few hours on it. Maybe hundreds of hours? Stardew is another one of those games that you could really sink your sink your teeth into. Although I'm not finding it as like a lot of it I'm finding a little bit arcadey, so I could see how it couldn't really lend itself to individual let's plays. Like in the same way as Zomboid would moment to moment, you know what I mean? If you know what I mean. Anyway, happy boy. But yeah. That's where I'm at. I'm happy as hell. Like, I've never been this happy. Generally speaking, which is odd, an unusual place for me to be coming from, because I felt like most of my YouTube career, as it were, and, like, the videos that I created were built on the voice of feeling, like, slightly under pressure and a lot of austerity because of where I was coming from, like, in my own life. And I suppose professionally, if you would say that, like, I, I always felt very, like, afraid, societally, like, oh, I'm, I mean, I guess it, a lot of it just comes down to, like, finances, and, like, being really young and not knowing your place in the world, but just feeling, like, fear and existential dread due to all the self-reliance that you have to experience as a young person. And I think that was a theme, but what I think is going to be a new theme that, con like, my personality and the stuff I'm able to enjoy has changed. I legitimately enjoy working with other people now more than I did years ago. Partly because I needed kind of a break from all my people time. But now I'm like, uh... Yeah, I'm feeling... Like, I, my personality is changing in ways I didn't expect. So we'll see what comes out of it with the content. I still get existential at every, like, corner. So I think, uh... I think that is authentically, like, an AA theme that will continue to run throughout my content. But yeah, like, um, anyway, it's a thought and it's kind of interesting, I suppose, just to like watch it. I never really thought about that. I try not to like self-analyze, like, what is my thing? I rather just let the thing be and then do it. You know what it is? Like, I find it always to feel, or if I ever tried to do something in my videos that was like, ooh, this is a brand. Generally speaking, I like vomit immediate. Okay, we are out of time right now. <laughs> I vomit in my mouth slightly because it, I know in my heart that that is not authentic. Although I think, I wonder how other YouTubers do that. Managing your brand, managing your brand 101. Make a brand. Step two, make a t-shirt. Step three, sell that t-shirt. Step four, wear that t-shirt, you know? It's my brand. The softest boy, thank you very much for gifting the five subs. I appreciate you, softest boy. Honestly, even if you weren't the softest boy, even if you were just like a, even if you weren't soft at all, I would have to say, I would still appreciate you and, and the, that is very generous though. I do hope you enjoy it. Boop, the doop, yee. Ah, uh, you sound like a meme. And I greatly enjoy that. The way that I talk has changed since I... St now I'm just reflecting on various stuff. Everything is changing, everyone. No, get those salads in here. I gotta give them to that lady. Get those salads in here. Let's bring these back. I do want to go back to the mine. Whoop, Wood mount. Carrot, carrot. Whoop, whoop. Carrot, carrot. Softest boy, thank you for gifting another sub. No problem, friends. Yeah, if you are gifting the sub, please be sure to say thanks to the soft. Thank you, softest boy. 
I suppose the mines are a decent way to spend the day. I mean, that was pretty good. We got five minor. Okay. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, what is SOP here? Softest boy subbing yourself. Thank you very, very much for the nine months, softest boy. Yeah, you don't want to be end up being a parody. Of your, it gets just kind of boring if you do one thing all the time. Geolo Geologist does look a little bit better just because minor looks like just more of something that I could get Booted anyway. This looks more interesting. In so. Thanks, Soth. Hey, Joy Sauce, happy to hear it. It's helped you uh, rediscover RimWorld. I myself am starting to have like a renaissance fair, as they say, of RimWorld. A renaissance of rimming, if you will. I never saw this coming as a young person living in the United States. Wh whence did you rediscover RimWorld? Ooh, cranberries, cranberries, cranberries. I love these. This is such an exciting animation. Whoa! Whoa! Look at the cranberries go! Whoa! Look at them flying around! Whoa, that's crazy! Let's see if we can make some actual sprinklers this day, because it's been a pain in the ass watering all of these crops for so long, and I hate it. I hate it so much. I wish it would just do itself so that I could live my life. The factory must grow. The factory must grow. Speaking of which, though, there's some games where I can put together a challenge, and it was pretty easy for me to make it. But I'm gonna t I'm gonna teach you guys a little bit about what I know about the YouTube algorithm right now. Um, there comes a time in when you make variety content on YouTube after you've. I mean, it's rare that you'll ever be in this position, I suppose. But maybe to some people who are like, there's just no lessons that you get for once you become a larger content creator how to keep. Kind of like expanding out into variety and manage your happiness. It's rare. So, like, you have to be able to extrapolate a lot from other people. But anyway, the, uh, the main idea is this, is that, you know, you're going to come to a point where you're doing so much variety that you can't do any more. Like, if you want to go back to the smaller niche that you started in, where you kind of made like made your name like for me I wanted to go back and make more RimWorld videos but there came a time where it was just sort of like I was doing bigger stuff and it was just sort of like well it doesn't really even make sense to do this because not enough people will like it and I'm just gonna kind of just fall into that but now I feel like that I have the editors working with me I'm probably gonna be able to revisit a lot of the old niches that I really did truly love I do truly love I think just about all the things I create, and I feel like I could do them repeatedly. Um, but some of them more than others. Really, RimWorld and Zomb... Really, particularly RimWorld, I think, was the one game I could probably play forever on the channel. And there are so many other ideas I wanted to create with it, because I just think it's such an amazing game. Um, but now I am getting to kind of come back and do those, so that is nice. It's good to hear that you're doing it again. Rim... Riminessons. Thank you. Doug Rimadome, owner of the RimWorld Rimadome. What is Leah doing up there? Wait a minute. No, that's Robin. That's not Leah. Leah is the lady I'm trying to woo with the romaine. <laughs> romaine. Hey, do you know any Latin? Because you look like you're into eating romaine lettuce. Oh! Pick up line. Wait a minute. Sorry, that was the wrong one. I didn't mean to say that one. I haven't played Stardew in a few years. Oh my gosh, what an amazing pickup line that was. Wow. AA, have you been wooing ladies in video games lately? Wow. Respecting your grind, bro. Hmm. Haven't played RimWorld since Biotech. Would be good to see some videos featuring it. Yeah, I'm feeling like, I don't know, there needs to be more stuff in it. Like, uh... Like, there needs to be... Oh my god, why are you... I didn't mean to see you. Should I... No, I gotta wait till I have the silo to... I should have done that in the other order. Okay, whatever. Robin. Whatever, Robin. 
Let's look for Leah. Leah appears to be, let's see, it is a Saturday in fall. It is 10.50 a.m. I believe Leah should be, well, she should be somewhere. I don't, I don't know the particular location, but she's into salad. These are her salad days. Oh, we've already given her the presents though for today. We may not be able to woo this woman in time. How fast can you get married? Probably not that. I mean, how many salads are required? Do you think that after you buy another salad date, you just get, marry me, marry me now. This is too much salad for me to live without you any longer. I require your hand. That'd be nice, right? Nice if it worked out that way. That would be weird. I don't know where I'm going with this. Video game logic, man, am I right? Cranberries, cranberries, I will keep. Whoops, uh, I guess none of them, that's fine. I don't really care, there's gonna be more of them. There's gonna be plenty more cranberries where that came from. The salad, where is she? I have to toss her salad. Maybe she would enjoy cooking with me. You know, that sounds like an <laughs> Hey, would you like to come over? I'll toss your salad. No, I didn't mean that. I meant like your real salad, you know? Maybe that doesn't even make it as clear. Um, what else could I be doing? I guess while she's working on the... Hmm. Uh, you know what I could be doing is really the sprinkler work. Okay, here we go. Sprinklers. The gold bar, the iron bar, and the refined quartz. That's really what we need more of, I think. Um... The iron bar we should be fine on. The gold bar I think we should also be fine. A part of me just thinks we should go back into the mines and just find the levels for gold and iron. Let's just go back and see if we can get some of these sprinklers down. Because now I think we could create this without too much, you know, uh, horrible uh, missed opportunity here. And that's just going to leverage us so much more. Look at my energy for the day. If I can just buy, you know, like... Give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. Teach a man a fish, you feed him for his life. But teach a man to build a fishing boat and you feed a village for the next 50 years. Like, am I right or am I right? You know? These are the questions that no one's asking. These are the, this, uh, the stuff that nobody's talking about. Um, do we have that gold? Oh, there we go. Um, not quartz. Iron. I'll take a little bit more iron. I put these into the wrong chest. I've been severely disorganized, but I really don't have enough stuff to care. So I'm just going to do that. Oh, Jesus. Okay, never mind. Wrong one. Let's go back into this menu. I'm going to put in the nuggets. And I don't have enough of them. Never mind. That is sad. Let's put in the iron then. Um, yeah, we're going to go need to go find more gold. Okay, does anyone know where gold is mainly found? down the shafts of mining. Um, I think I'm going to need help with this because I think they're on earlier levels and we're getting to stuff that's actually too good. Um, in the lava zone. Oh, in the 70s. Oh, so we could go deeper down the mine. Maybe I will do that then because I was thinking that I would just... All right, let's just keep going. Uh, I don't really care about the luck just because at this point in time... I just feel like I've done too much watering. I mean, it is meditative and nice, but at the same time, I could be getting more levels, bro. Get those LVs. Farm the gold the best on level 81. I think we are starting to get there. I'm starting to appreciate the value of going so deep into the mines. It's just that it's the only way... I mean, in these types of games, naturally... I try to find the best way that I can leverage. And I think sprinklers seem to be the best way to leverage. They're the only workers that you can hire that you don't have to pay or spend any more of your daily time or energy on, you know? Really, the limiting factor here in this game, what it's teaching is time. Time management, man. You gotta... It's the same reason... <laughs> it's the same reason I have editors. It's because I don't have enough time in the day in order to be that good. 70, here we go. Woo, woo, 70. Very high number. 
70 does sound like a very high number, doesn't it? It's crazy to think that there's no such thing as like a high number. Nine sounds pretty high. Not really high. Oh, Jesus, I didn't mean to do that. I wonder if the master slingshot is any better. I don't really have any stones for it, though, so never mind. Skellingtons. These honestly seem like easier enemies than the last ones. I know they have a ranged attack, but that's not that bad. It's not that damaging. Pretty cash money. 70 may be the highest number possible. I have to double check the math, but it sounds right. Really? Really? I don't believe... Did we have... Um, well, we have plenty of iron down here. That is a good... That is a good news. That is a good news. Oh, here we go. Nice. I just want to unlock as many of the levels in the mine as possible. Has anyone told me how breedable I am? No, not yet today, but thank you for telling me that. Actually, someone told me that I was breedable in real life, so thank you. I do appreciate it. Your boy, your boy looks good. Your boy, uh, I'm very, uh, I'm very aesthetic. I'm very breedable, actually. <laughs> it's funny, you know, I gotta say, like, there's something about Twitch culture that will always be missed on me. And, or I wonder if it exists on YouTube. Do you guys watch uh, YouTube streams? I do wonder this, because now that we've been doing one YouTube stream a month, I kind of like it because of the stuff that we get to do on YouTube. I also do like that, uh, I mean, I was chatting with my YouTube partner, and they're, like, they're pretty open to the idea of people doing both, it seems like. I know that, like, you know, it's YouTube, and, like, they want to kind of figure it out, and obviously, like, you know, they're, they're a business, and they kind of want to attract more people over to their platform, and that makes sense. Though, like, they were really constructive when it came down to just, like, hey, what are you using Twitch for? What are you using YouTube for? And they're, like, they did actually have pretty con constructive ideas for how to use their own platform better, and, like, hey, like, could you do this thing on YouTube? I do appreciate that, because, um, and I wish that Twitch would do a little bit more of it, because some, like, I remember when I was applying, all they really did was tell me, like, hey, reapply. Which is helpful, but I don't know. I'm just amazed that YouTube even has, like, the manpower to send people out to work with individual creators, because it's crazy to think. Though I guess I'm, like, one of the very privileged few. But even I feel very small in the sea of creators. Stream harder. Who do I think is the best wife in the game? I like the way Twitch does chat better. I do like Twitch chat. I gotta, I agree with you. I think that the, the highlighting works pretty well. Um, the one thing I don't understand... Oh, there's some things I really like about Twitch culture that will never really be on YouTube because of the nature of the platform. Like, um, YouTube is like a totally free viewing experience. I mean, so is Twitch, but like also... Hmm... I, I, I don't really mean like... Like, I don't think that, no, like, nobody, like, nobody should ever have to give anything, but I think that it, it means that, at least when I started on Twitch, people were much more, like, understanding, especially for streamers starting out. Like, a big donation in chat or something like that, especially when I was, like, a smaller streamer, was like, hey, that really meant a lot to me, you know? Like, and it still does, but it's also just, like, it kind of creates more of a, I guess, a community, whereas you, it feels smaller. It feels smaller, whereas YouTube... Sometimes it just feels like, oh, here I am. These are my fans. Like, I am important. And, like, that, I think, is kind of a silly relationship. Um, but, yeah, like, it does kind of feel like that sometimes. So it's trickier to navigate some of that stuff, I suppose. All right, it's time for another salad so that women will like me. I could probably get better gear now at this point, too. YouTube feudal lord. I don't know, what do you- do you guys like YouTube better for anything? Um, I'm thinking most of their features just feel a lot like... Mm. I guess it would be nice if they had raids. That would be cool, if there were raids on YouTube. But it's trickier because there aren't really as many streams going. Yeah, YouTube has- YouTube is really just primarily for videos. When I'm streaming on YouTube, I'm not really thinking about how the stream will be, but I'm thinking more about how the video after will be. 
I do think about that on Twitch as well. I think live content is just kind of not really like, you know, it's, it just doesn't really make as much sense when you think about the way that the internet works. Ooh, look at these emeralds. Wow, that's cool. It's tricky. It, it is, it's tricky, like, you know. You feel feels like teething at church more than handing someone money. <laughs> I definitely feel I I get the essence. Of, I somewhat agree with that feeling. Yeah, it's funny like that. I think it feels like maybe it'll become a little bit less like that. And I'm I kind of want to make the YouTube streams a little bit more like I don't know special in some way, so that it's sort of like um. I don't, I've tried to reserve it for like cool challenges and stuff like that that I've thought of. Um, like something that I would do as a series on Twitch, but I just do in one video on YouTube. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, it's just, uh... But it's been a little bit more fun to explore each platform again, because I felt like I had become a one-trick pony. Like, I got really good at creating a ten-minute video. A lot of people thought that I was doing the ten-minute video, like, to just barely get by on, like, ooh, it's like a sponsor thing, or, like, it's a money th Like, the truth is that just that was a length of video that I thought was fun to make. Um, and I, I also wanted to see the YouTube data of, like, it's hard to compare when you make, like, a 20-minute video and then a 10-minute video, and then YouTube gives you this data, like, oh, people watch for longer on the 20-minute video, but they watched only, like, 20% of the video, you know? And then on the shorter video, I have to go out again. And then on the shorter video, it's like, oh, they watched less. But if they watched, like, 80% of the video, then, like, oh, awesome. And it's kind of hard to compare those. So that's why I did that for about a year, to really see if I could get good information on it. I don't really think it makes a difference, to be totally honest with you. I think YouTube likes it if you can get people to watch a long video for a long time on it. Um, I guess there are little ways that people, like, game it, but I, I don't think there are any shortcuts. I do think it's a very fair platform, and that's why it's really fun and rewarding when you create something good on it. I like it. Um, I'm trying to think of other stuff on that note. On that note... More information I will send out to the masses. Things that you should do. Oh my god, look at this. 20 to 30 damage, 4 speed, 2 weight. That's cool. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Why didn't I see that before? Whoops. There we go. Put that in. We're good now. Are the streams going to be footage for the scripted YouTube videos? So, actually, this has been, actually, this has been, uh, something I've been trying to think over again now lately. Like, do I want to go back to creating some present tense Let's Play videos? Not exclusively, of course, but, like, maybe some of them, like I did back in 2021. Because I did like making those. Those were fun. It's just that I thought, like, I also wanted to create these, but... You know, really, what I would like to do would be sometimes take the VODs and then hand them to an editor. Just there's gonna be such a greater variety of projects to do now. Like, I don't wanna just do video essays. I love video essays, and I really wanted to get good at them because I think they're a ridiculously rare art form on YouTube that you never see, and they're really fun when you see them. But I also think, like, Let's Plays, it would be fun to just do a couple of Let's Plays, and I feel like I deserve to do some more of them. Um, ooh, look at all the pumpkins. This is really fun and nice. Ah. Ah, that's really good. The thing about Let's Play videos on YouTube is that they're kind of like a dying breed. Just because a lot of the people who kind of popularized them were in the old YouTube. And, like, they kind of kept their audiences. But it's hard for somebody new to come on the scene and do the same thing that those guys were doing and still, like, innovate. Which is why there's like this kind of like attention span uh, and like quality arms race on YouTube. And I guess I'm part of that, you know? I guess I've been part of that now, um, the way I'm kind of operating. I guess that's just kind of natural though, to a certain extent. Probably true for anything. But yeah, it's like, it's crazy. Um, Man, these sprinkles were really, sprinklers were really useless. But yeah, I want to do like a greater variety of stuff. And sometimes the beautiful part about doing stuff that you're really good at is that you can come back and do stuff that's like just stuff that you want to do and then you still have people who are interested in seeing it. That's how this whole VOD channel exists. 
Like, if I had just made long form content, it probably wouldn't have been such a hit, but maybe, you know, maybe you saw a bigger video. And then maybe that's how you went down this rabbit hole and that's how you found this video. And I think that's interesting. Um, and I think that's a lot of fun. It's really war rewarding. I know I'm like nonstop talking about this stuff right now, but it's just because I've been in my head on this stuff for the last few months. Ooh, the barn is done. Yes. Nice. Okay, let's go back to Robin and see if we can get her to work on that thing. Work, Robin. Work harder. You're not working hard enough. Help me. Let's get the hardwood. I'm not sure if I need that too. I need the stones. Hmm. No, 368. There we go. Cool. All right, it's time to eat another salad and then ask a lady to do me another favor. I guess I'll put the cute, the coop, the coop between those two. I mean, not the coop, the silo. Hey, MNS Veer, thank you very much for the kind words. Found it on YouTube and taking a streaming break due to illness. Ah, oh, I hope you feel better, cozy gaming mom. Glad to find you here too. For the streams footage, um, yeah. So, uh, like for example, there's um. Uh, there is a certain video I'm planning on creating in a month or so that's going to be like a multiplayer um, stream with some friends. And generally speaking, in the past, it was kind of awkward for me to edit this type of video because I'd have to turn it around in like just a few days. But um, now that I'm working with people, it's sort of like I can kind of hand it off to one of them. And the thing that's been really fun for me with the editors is with the multiplayer stuff, they're just seeing whole new things that I never even would have seen in the original video. And it's like, it's just crazy how good some of these guys are at what they do. Um, like freaky, like way better than me at it. To the point where today I was chatting with one of them and I told him that I feared how good he was. Um, and it is dangerous that he has that knowledge, but I think he would naturally find that out anyway. I don't like to ever try to conceal any of that information from people. Um, only this was my experience with teaching like really, really smart students. Um, hang on a second. Like I had the, the pleasure of teaching. Okay, we need clay and copper bars. I did not bring those. I need to go back and get those. Whoops. Right. Kind of a mishap, but whatever. Yeah, I taught a, a number of AP courses um, before I was done teaching. And with those students, the best thing that you could do is just get the hell out of their way um, and let them work however they did. Humble yourself and give them whatever tools they need and like humble your own self as a teacher. Um, really smart kids will go a long way if you let them. And I think the same thing applies to people in workplaces. You have to let them be creative and you have to let them, you know, seed their own journey in their own way. And so when you're working, I mean, I'm working with other people who I'm like, you could, like you are literally, you have the editing skills to be like a YouTuber with millions of followers. And yet somehow you're stuck at 10 subscribers. Like, how did I possibly find you? Partly that's because I'm really good at like picking out applications. Um, <laughs> But also, like, um, because I've seen a lot of them and I'm awesome. But also, what did I need? Copper bars? Here we go. But also, because they'll find it out anyway. And anything that you do where you, like, try to, I don't know, shield your ego or something. Like, oh, I'm awesome. Like, no, you just gotta admit, like, this person is gonna eventually... Eventually, this person is gonna go their own way. But I'm gonna give them the tools they need. And hopefully, in some way, I'll learn while I'm working with them, and then that'll make me better. And I think that is, that has been a valuable lesson for me anyway. Because uh, when you first start, like it's it's very easy to try to protect your ego in any type of role where you're the boss. Like, oh yeah, I know what I'm doing. Like, if you don't know what you're doing, just admit that you don't know what you're doing. Craigasm. Sometimes people will run with it, and then that's usually more a matter of character. Um, but yeah, I, I do believe that. Entry 9, thank you very much for the seven months. Yeah, it's crazy for me though, because I'm like, these people are better than me. Like, why Why are they here? Like, why are they here? Like, why aren't you just doing your own thing, you know? 
but also that's where you know I'm not like 20 anymore I'm, I'm 28 not that 28 is so old or that 20 is so young but like you know I've you know, met people who are like 17 who had insane skill and I just was puzzling and like how are you this good help you with your physics homework yeah um use the quadratic formula and um then uh make sure you have the right number of significant figures i know we get the silo set up so what else do we need for the silo sorry about what were my thoughts when max or asked oh max is a great guy to work with um remember being excited when i heard you but there's a little bit of wow there's not much overlap between well max or picked out the line Ooh, look at me with my sword he picked out the particular lines that I wouldn't have, except for one that I liked the intonation in. But the lines that he sent me to... <laughs> one of the lines that he sent me was, <laughs> I need you to fuck my daughter, I had to say for the script. And I couldn't stop cracking up when I had to say it. So I said it like 40 times in a row, because I wanted to make sure I got the right intonation. So Max, somewhere out there between the Discord chat of me and Max or... There's just me saying, I can't stop laughing. And then I say, I need you to fuck my daughter. Like, an excessive number of times. That was... <laughs> he's very, very nice, though. And he's very, like, respectful of which lines that you pick. <laughs> like, there was one line I wanted slightly changed. And yeah, I don't know. It was cool that he put me in the project. It was very nice of him. I, I think his stuff is so cool. Like, who does that much? He's also just, like, kind of a starving artist type. Like, he he breaks himself whenever he makes a video. <laughs> I don't really like that work ethic for myself anymore, but I can... Like, I can admire that grind set, you know? Buy hay for the silo now at Marnie's. Or if I use the scythe, create... Oh, that's very cool. So, oh, that's like in, um... That's like in Harvest Moon, isn't it? Don't you get that with the grass? Rather than having to just pick up the grass and then throw it somewhere else. Son, I'm going to teach you to garden. Just pick up the grass and then throw it somewhere else. Hopefully it'll be gone tomorrow. It will have degraded biologically. This is a very sword, sword. Super epic that I do the best collapse. That was all Maxor. Um, no, he's like, he's really good about just getting people onto his projects. Like, he'll reach out and stuff, and he's a really nice dude. Um, yeah, I, I really like working with him. I'm, I'm lucky I got to. I got to work with him. Um, yeah, cool guy. Haven't met someone who is a prodigy at, like, uh, 17, they have lack of seam levels of basic areas. Oh, yeah, like, there's some people who... Well, I mean, it does kind of catch up to you, I suppose. But yeah, I mean, that's another thing that happens on YouTube is like, you know, anything in general. I guess, or maybe that's just like a social media thing. Yeah, people who are like, like the entry, the door to entry into this whole world of creating stuff is getting like lower and lower uh, stakes, I suppose. Like, think about it. I never had to do a job interview to, to get this job. You know, it felt weird to me to be like interviewing people because I'm like, uh, so what are your goals in life? You know, I would have been like, uh, my, my goals? Oh, what do you mean? Like, Google, like soccer goals? Like, I didn't do very well in interviews. That's the reason why I make video game videos for a job. Like, I didn't, I wasn't able to work at places like, you know, Bank of America or like, uh, uh, um, like the grocery store, or like, what are some other jobs? Like the mine, um, or be an electrician, or, uh, ooh, look, we're in hell now. Wow, very cool. Very cool in hell. Three defense, withstand the hottest magma. Very cool. Here we go into the magma, everyone. Rainy day, so go into your coop barn, and hay out the grass, feed the animals. Feed your animals troughs. Oh, that's nice. Oh, cool. So, yeah, they can... Oh, that's very nice of me. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. What the hell is this? He's using, like, a mind blast on us or something. Oh, but look, you're right. There's gold. Wow. I want to know where the gold at. Wow, we're already getting... 
Oh, this is cool. The Return of Grass. Very nice. Very cool and sexy. What is this? All right, that thing is dead. So then this is the gold of which you spake. Is it not? Only one, though, unfortunately. These are small floors. Small boy floors. Yeah, enemies, they slap. That's nice. Keep continuing down. Repair medical equipment at a hospital. Uh, it doesn't. You can Five do months? whatever you want you as long as, well as you love me. Take me. You're so close. Wait a second. Uh, I will put the seeds in the trash. Schwez, thank you very much for the five months. I do appreciate it. Look at all of the gold on this floor. I've never actually heard the word pronounced. Ah, uh, gold for days. But yeah, it's funny, you know, to me, in my own life, and on YouTube, I've felt like I've had to keep kind of reinventing whatever it was that I did every two to three years or so, or it would just get boring to me and feel repetitive, you know? Like, I guess 2017 to 2019, I had one way of making videos, and then 2019 to 2021, I had a new way of making videos. That's about another two years or so. Then 2020, the beginning of 2022 to 2023, I guess this one has lasted about a year, though it sort of was a year and a half to two now. And now we're kind of entering, yeah, it's like every two years, I feel like I master something in my life, you know? And I, if I keep doing it, it starts to feel boring to me. And if I, if I change it, I feel like I would do better if I did it faster, but I don't know. I, I enjoy it thoroughly. What the hell is this guy? Void essence. What is that? Ooh, I, I'm getting like poisoned or something. I gotta eat a salad. Chests at the levels with other chests to save all your extra. My inventory is making you anxious. Oh, could you make a chest on this floor and then put it down? Would that be acceptable? Hang on a second. I should probably do that. You're right. Could I just put this thing down? Hang on a second. Oh, look at me go! Unsuitable location, despite the fact that it's green. As far as I know, green means yes. Unacceptably. Man, I really gotta say, I like this sword. I do say, governor. What am I saying? That's, a, that's my attempt at a British accent. Now, what can I say in British? Yorkshire. That's the only thing I'm capable of saying now. That's what I learned when I was in... Well, Sweden, as it turns out. I didn't. I never went to the UK. Use the elevator every five levels and jump to the... Oh! Oh! Only at the entrance is a good idea. Okay, that's very nice. So then after... Oh, so we can keep going back and forth. That sounds like a very nice way of collecting things. That's a good idea. Thank you. Hey, DJ. How you doing, DJ? Sorry, I didn't see you before. I've been kind of a scatterbrained boy. Avoid the void? Why should I... Okay, this is probably bad when the air turns red. Also, is there any way of quick checking like what level we're on without going all the way to the elevator? This weapon is great though. I like the speed of this. Nah, I, I gotta go home. Never mind. See you tomorrow. Not enough time. What level did we unlock up to? 80. Okay, Gold Boy has entered the chat. Oh, top left corner. Thank you, DJ. Oh, wait, did we get up to 84? I'm a dingus. I should have gone one more. But at what cost? But at what cost? Hey, Gumbaro, thank you very much for the raid, man. Appreciate you. 
Hope you guys had a good stream. Where are you guys playing? Thank you. Where's that lady? She's supposed to be working right now. Why am I paying her? Hey, you were to work for three days and three nights. Oh, damn it. I hit something. <sighs> Watering can proficiency. Look at me. I'm a... Oh, wait a minute. Now I have a better... I have an even better sprinkler now. 10% more damage. Ooh. What do I take here? I want to take the fighter, but that might not be that useful. Ooh, Noida. That's a great game. I think for the raid men. Fighter or scout? I don't know what do you guys think. My instincts tell me fighter, but scout also looks like more effective in the immediate, which my instinct is like, is fighter even that useful because you want to just take him out in one hit? But this would be more, yeah, it would indeed be more consistent. Yeah, that's the, that's the enjoyable part of it. Like the other one might not even come into play at all. So that is potentially problematic. I, too, like Noida. That's a good game. Did we get that one mineral? Okay, there we go. We got fire quartz. I'm pretty sure that we can finish off some of the stuff now. That wanted to be finished off by me. Yeah, I know fire quartz is going to complete one of our, like, mini quest lines. Let's just go ahead and see if the fortune teller thinks it's a good time to go down today. Okay, good. A little bit of extra luck. Let me, um, let me go down and get some more inventory stuff. Cool, you're there. I'll remind you, the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Uh, what items could we use for the, the Grange? The Grange? I don't know how you say it. Grange? I guess Grange? The only word that... Or the only other time I think I've heard of the word Grange is like... That song by... Was it... What was the band? It was in Guitar Hero 3. Lagrange. Grange. The Grange. What is a Grange, anyway? Oh, yeah, we could finish off the minecart bundle. Isn't that good? Does that mean we unlock the minecarts? Grange display based off of item quality mix. Higher quality. Gold and above will get you the best ratings. Do we have... Oh, thank you very much. We might be able to get the pumpkins up there. So a variety of high quality items, really. So just, like, display your best items. I don't think we're going to be able to do much of that. I guess what will we do? Like, fruit? Here, everyone, look at all of this expensive fruit. I am the best, clearly. Look at my expensive fruit and despair. I wonder what we need for the best boy sprinkler, though, too. That seems, like, really useful. Diamond also helps. I do have a diamond, I believe, right? Yeah, I have a diamond. You think I could win it? Put some rocks on it. Would rocks be okay? Could I put like gold ore or a gold bar or something? I put my gold tooth on it. Here we go. Gold. Gold boy. Do... Uh, we do have 74 iron. Jeez. Yeah, you could get like Minecraft levels of furnaces up too. Yeah, ZZ Top. Thank you. This is a ZZ Top song. Do you get more points for variety? Yeah, it's tricky. Like, how does one define variety? Variety. I could put, like, these... I could put one high-quality pumpkin in this chest. Oh, I could get a good yam in there. Get a good get a good yam in there. Uh, I'm gonna put some of these away. Frozen tear. Uh, organizing. Never mind. Just put it all in void essence. That's kind of nice. Oh wait, was the void essence useful for something? No, I guess it wasn't. Never mind. Eh, I'll just put it all in. Except that. There we go. All good. Everything is fine. Maybe. Did this work out? Here we go. Let's see. One. I got some grapes for the mine. Good. 
And some corn. Oh, we need corn for something in the place, don't we? Let's go back there for a second. We do have a little bit of extra luck. Let's just see if we can get back into the mine. And also, too, just what about these last sprinklers now? I didn't even anticipate this. So we've got the 24 adjacent tiles every morning. Iridium bar. Where do you get iridium? Oh, now I want to do the next thing. We do have a battery pack as well, and gold isn't that bad. So where do you go to get iridium? Is that even further down the mine? In which case, my life is just like, keep getting, getting the better sprinkler and go further down the mine. Iridium. What level is the skull caverns on? Uh, Bro's Beast, thank you very much for the prime. Did we already... Oh, requires the bus to be fixed. Okay, so then that is like maybe further down the line perhaps and maybe is not as much worth it for us right now. Floor 120 of mines and then going to the desert. So that might be a while before we get that. Yeah, okay, I'm content to do eight tile boy. But then if we were able to do 24, it might get to be slightly like inconvenient the way it would work, but still it's pretty cool. Okay, we get the mine card finished off. Mine carts are now repaired. Reward, we get Omni Geode. Blacksmith can break this open. Variety of materials, cool. So does anything happen to this room? Okay, a bunch of Super Mario Galaxy people appear in here. We are Junimos, keepers of the forest. Oh, rooms repaired. Nice. Hey, cool. Very cool. And they're speaking in like Spanish or something. I can't tell. What is that? No, it looks that is definitely not Spanish. Hmm. Crazy. Ooh, look a star. Estrella. Oh, there goes one of them. Wow, look. Oh my gosh. Super Mario. It was Super Mario Galaxy after all. Look, gold noodle. Very nice. Very, very nice. Speaking in Minecraft enchanting table. Hmm. No? Okay, here we go. Fall foraging bundle? No? Spring? Who has the- who has the goddamn corn? Oh, wait a minute. Winter? Don't I have- I do have part of the winter foraging bundle. Where is the corn, though? Where is the corn at? Did I already do the- no, I didn't already do the corn. Is that in the pantry, I want to say? I don't like this music, though. I don't- I don't like it. Corn time! Corn boy. I guess I'm just gonna give him one of the high-quality pumpkins. I don't want to wait again. Oh, and yams. I do have a yam. I could probably finish off that part. But for now, let's just go back into the mine. I think a lot of it just comes down to mine. Eh. <laughs> I mean, it feels crazy to me to just keep going down the mine over and over again, but it almost seems like every year in the game you could do, like, one part of it fully, you know? I mean, the whole time you're kind of building up the forest, I mean, the the farm in the background to automate. Like, you want to automate this thing so that you can go explore the other parts of the farm. Kind of like real life in that way, really. You know, like, you want to take care of your stuff so that you can experience the good things in life. But it turns out that the, the journey was there all along. Okay, that's still out of order. So what did they mean when they said that the mine carts were now, like, working? I mean, it says out of order. Can we go ahead and do that in some way? We could go to Marnie now and buy animals. Uh, should we wait till we've got the silo actually set up, or could we do it right now? Is that better? I guess because it isn't a rainy day, we could do that. Actually, no, maybe that would be better. If we get down five levels and we still have time left, then we'll do that. That sounds better. I like your idea more. Yeah, it's like managing your time, you know? I mean, I've got decent luck today. Okay, I gotta avoid the void, right? Stay away from these people. These people are bad. Bad people. Ooh, look at all the gold we're finding, though. This is fantastic. I was hoping we would get a lot of gold. It's great to know, too, for whatever is the next playthrough around. That way we can be a little bit more efficient. Yeah, I could do it now. You're right. 
and I'm feeling like kind of bad. Though this sword is way more satisfying to use than that damn hammer. I hated that thing. It's like not enough. Okay, so this feels like I'm actually protecting myself with the weapon. Ooh, jumping crab. It's a crazy jumping crab. Silo will be done in a day or so. I agree. The mine must... Yeah, pretty much the mine must go deeper. Like, it's crazy to me how deep this whole labyrinth of caves is. Is it procedurally... Um... Actually, I didn't even see. Is it procedurally generated? Or do the floors always stay the same? I didn't actually notice. It's random every day. That's kind of cool. Man, this game just keeps growing and growing. Ooh, three gold ore in one. That's really nice. Um... I have now... I, <laughs> I made a friend. I made a friend in real life, guys. Wow. Crazy, right? Um, yeah, one of my friends, it turns out, plays Factorio. And, like, that was what we met. <laughs> like, I found out that he was, um... Like, let's just say that he's, like, a very high-level academic. And the first thing I said to him, like, just because I knew his field, I said, Do you play Factorio? <laughs> and I was like... Where have you been all my life? <laughs> it's like there's just some things that you could just say to one of your boys where it's like, you complete me. And it's like, instant best boy, you know? Like, it was fun. I had a good time. I was just like, uh, so now whenever I greet him, I'm like, the factory must grow. <laughs> uh, it's a great time. It's a great time. You ever do that with your, with your friends? <laughs> all right, it's 440. Let's... No, you know what? I suppose that she's probably not even going to be open anymore because we're going to get there and she's going to have closed. I messed myself up for the day, so let's just see if we can get five more levels. That would be amazing. I mean, I hate to do it, but I do have good luck today, so I might not be able to do this one for a while. I'm beginning to appreciate now... Okay, you could still go into the mines on days where you don't have good luck, but just make sure you've unlocked the levels where you, you got the stuff that you need in them, you know? That way you're not, like, wasting everybody's time. <coughs> Excuse me. Ooh, more emeralds. You made a friend. Lucky. <laughs> Relevant. Isn't it, like, said now that... I, I can never tell what this is. Sometimes I'll look into my social media stuff. Ooh, dark boots. What's that? Cool. Yeah, they say that in the age of, like, individualism and the internet, people are now beginning to, like, just lack community, and now everyone's just using things to just cope for what they don't have. Like, instead of real friends, people depend upon parasocial relationships with streamers. The funny part is that even I was... I don't know if that's just me reading into, like, social media stuff too much. Although it is kind of like a, a facet of postmodernism, you know? Like, everything is breaking down. There will be no more tradition. The individual will depend on, like, individualized algorithms. There will be no more tradition. All this stuff, like... That stuff is kind of crazy. But the funny thing is that, like, even... I guess I'm somebody who's, like, contributing to that world order, so I'm, I'm not really, like, the ideal person to be saying this. But at the same time, I'm like, even I kind of feel that a lot of the time. I'm like, uh, yeah. I need a hug today, guys. It's important. It's important. Probably be closed tomorrow on Tuesdays. Most women in the town go do yoga. What the hell? They're doing yoga. Where do they do yoga? That's kind of cool. Factorio, literally see how their brain operates. Could, oh, yeah. Well, I was uh, talking with a friend about this when we were playing It Was Agricola, and he was just like, yeah, everybody here has like a board game personality. It's super interesting. And you can kind of see what, like how they operate in real life based on how they play Agricola. I mean, honestly, if you meet somebody who just plays Factorio like at all for fun, like, you know you've met a gamer. You know that he's... 
You know that he's also got, he's like into cryptocurrency and other stuff like that. It's <laughs> a bad example, I don't know, I'm just trying to think of something silly. You know he's got his 401k, like, employer matched, or, yes. <laughs> he's a man of culture. The yoga at the merchant store, the chapel in the back of the big common room. Damn it. I'm, I can suppose I'm not really in a huge rush to get the animals now. I've already messed up enough. Okay, so I'm on 89. I need only one more level. I'll get there by tomorrow. Thank goodness. Goodness gracious. What is that? Are you healing? Unacceptable again. I like these people's masks, though. They kind of remind me of, uh... There's something kind of, like, Studio Ghibli about them. Hmm, there we go. Like, meeting someone who plays Project Zombo. It was kind of cool. One of my... Ooh. Oh, Jesus. I totally walked right into that one. <laughs> Embarrassing. Very sad. Very sad. Thank you for saving me. That was awful, that was awful. Mm, the items I lost were not that bad. The 5,000 G is a little bit more annoying, but honestly, that's not that much money. Jinxed, minus eight defense. Oh, I'm back to normal. All right, I totally messed up there, that was bad. I feel sad, but at least I'll get home before midnight. Oh, man, it would just be nice to not have to walk this whole way all the time. I suppose those little those little nice things are what this game is all about in the end. Reflection of how bad society is now. I have more contact, though, shallower in exchange with people than I ever had in real life. Do you think that's true nowadays? People are just, like, so trapped in their own bubbles. I've had to... Well, I mean, one thing that I've had to do as a as a video creator is just, like, like literally, it was crazy for me because I didn't like, I, I just don't, I, I don't think that people get a lot out of the kind of industrial revolution work week that we've kind of got in our world now. But you do have to create some kind of, like, regular activity throughout the week to a certain extent. I think that's a secret of happiness. I don't know what that was. That was like the crazy people dance. I'm running out of names for things, so I just call stuff whatever. I'm, I'm just running out of ideas now, guys. We could go to... So Marnie is going to be at yoga today. Oh, yeah. Great reason to miss work. I'm going to do yoga. I suppose... How very, like, not... <laughs> Amazing of me to say. Oh, there we go. I forgot the pumpkin. <laughs> Work harder. The farm must grow. I suppose I could make the smaller sprinklers, though, today, right? Like, don't I have... I mean, I've got 26 gold now. Gold is in high supply. Let's use it. Let's use it. I say we do it. Um, I feel like I deserve it. Where are those things that I left in here? Um, hmm. Iron. Gold. What's the other thing? Uh, quartz. Yeah, that was it. Okay, so now we can go ahead and make the mm, iron fences. Quality sprinkler. Okay, one quality sprinkler, and we'll be able to get one more as soon as these gold bars are done. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and, like, chop some of these crops, because I I hate this. I feel like I deserve to not have to do this anymore. Could we put it down in the midst of these? Okay, help me. How do I... I think I'm just going to kill one of my crops. I know this is, like, not SOP, but screw it. I'm tired. I, I need the time more than I need this. There we go. Whoa! Oh my god, my life is so much better. I love everything now. Let me just plant something random there. Cool. I'm going to delete this as well. I know this gives you great pain inside to watch me do this, but... Oh well. 
Too bad for you. Sorry. The gold is still cooking. Uh, I should probably make another one of these things soon, soon too. Do I have the, uh, I do have the copper ore that I need, I believe. Right? There we go, more copper ore. I think, did I need... Stone. Stone boy. There we go. Cool. Furnace. Oh, we just, we keep getting bottlenecked in this process and it's annoying me now. Copper. Okay, that's probably all I can do because my life is sad. Uh, let's put this over here. Good. And then we put in... Oh, look at that light, light sound of wind chimes in the distance. That's very nice, isn't it? Oh, you know, you guys are dingus. I wouldn't put it in the open spot. Oh, wait a minute. Did I accidentally kill the seeds there? Oh, no, there it is. Yeah, there we go. So, see, eight, eight, eight. That way it's it looks nice. See? Even though that it's wrong, it looks nice. Don't question me. Have faith. Have faith, or otherwise I'll feel sad. Stardew Valley Fair has begun in the town square. Oh, crap. Is it even worth it to bring anything at all? I guess I could put the corn in here. I could bring the diamonds from Minecraft. Let me bring in the diamonds. What else should I put in? I could bring in a glow ring. Dark boots, because I'm not really using those. An eggplant. A bomb. What happens if I put a bomb in the festival? Hey, everyone, look. I brought a bomb to the festival. Uh, give me what I'm asking for. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> How does that say, County Fair? He brought bombs, his best bombs on display. What about this sea cucumber? That looks like it's high quality. Bring the emerald. Oh, that's a good idea. Where's that emerald at? There it is. Woo! 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 Emerald! Yams! We have some yams, too. Let's bring those. I think that's about it. Let's bring all those high-quality foods. Uh, processed slash artisan goods. What are those? I guess I could put a salad in there, right? Variety? Um... Yeah, well, we'll try it out. One, two, three. I could bring a lot of stones. Mayonnaise or wine. I don't actually have any of those. Cheese, mayo, wine. I don't really have processed goods, though. You're right. Maybe I won't do well. I'm still going to throw these things in because I just think they would be nice to put in there. I could put in that. That might be nice. Oh, you pick up the items you leave in the display. Okay. Okay. Oh, I could put the bomb in. Okay, then I'll put a bomb in there. Hey, everyone, look, it's my bomb. <laughs> uh, this game is silly. Oh, my God. It's like, it, it has enough crazy stuff that if you wanted to give it to a kid to play it, you wouldn't have to answer all of their questions. I sometimes think about this, you know, like... God forbid if I were in charge of some children's gaming habits. Like, what would I do today? They don't really have the ESRB anymore, I suppose, right? Like, I suppose if you're buying everything for Nintendo and you're a parent, you'd go off of that. If you're buying things for, like, console for your children, you'd use that. What else does one do? As a parent of a young gamer. Hang on a moment. I'm just going to throw this out. Yeah, I wonder what I do. Yeah, the thing that's crazy to me is, like, I feel like I've experienced so much as a parent and a teacher. Oh, God, what would I, and former teacher, what would I give my kids to play? What would I not want them to play? Would I not want them to not, you know, like GTA, day one. I want you to have really good... Maybe I would give them... I think I would give them things of good taste. Although oftentimes, too, your family resists what you put upon them because they feel like that they've been forced to do it. I think that that's kind of like a tradition 
in Western civilization in the family unit. I don't really know. It's weird to me though, like I have so many video games now. Gaming is getting crazy. Getting is, gaming is just getting to be this giant nightmare. Like, who owns the games anymore? I bet you that in years... You know, I was talking about how I don't think you'll really own your games anymore. I think in years from now, you won't even own the consoles anymore. I think it's just gonna be like, you just stream the game from offline, the same way we do music. I was thinking about this, like, all the streaming consoles and how it seemed like such a far-out idea. And it's been tested a little bit, but I think somebody just has to put it into a form that's attractive and marketable to consumers. And by the time that it comes, it won't be like one of those you'll own nothing and you'll and you'll like it things. Well, you actually, I mean, I think what we've had now is those you'll own nothing things, but people still don't like it yet. Like people like YouTube. I like YouTube better than having to own six million CDs and having to swap them out whenever I want different music. Now I literally say the name of the song I want to listen to and then it's playing like magic. That's the world we're living in now, it's crazy. That did not exist when I was a kid. Think about that for a second. Where is the item display? Man, look at those disgusting animals. Where is the display? What is this? I don't wanna play this. The mayor put my stuff on the display, okay. Mayor! Oh, maybe that's the display. Next to the cheeses. Participate by setting up a grain... I set up there we go, good, I can see it. Alright, so let's put all of our crap onto it. Oh, I'm gonna beat Pierre. Idiot. Alright, I'm gonna put a bomb. A ruby. A diamond. Uh, purple sea cucumber. Um, I guess I'll just put in these other high-quality items, right? Corn, grape, pumpkin. Does that seem good? Oh, or, you know, let's have a little bit more variety as the spice of life. I guess that would be like a gathered item, though, too. These are fall crops. Maybe something different. Maybe something nice. Gold. Should I put in the gold bar? Wouldn't the bomb be good? Replace the bomb with the gold bar? Okay. How does that look? How does that look? Put in a salad. What should I replace with the salad? The plum might be good. Maybe like the cranberries. Would that be good? Good enough? All right, good enough, we say. Good enough. That's what I wanted. I think I have some nice items. Oh! Are you already finished setting it? What? Bruh. Is he gonna judge now? Oh, wait. Not like this. Pierre's supplies look really good. He's evaluating. He's giving me, like, a score. Oh, no. What is this, like, Black Mirror or something? Please, I want to live. I don't want to be one of the betas. Oh no, he's made his decision. What is he going to say? I hate them all. Personally, I think Pierre's looks bad. Best. Hey, not bad. You won second place with a rating of 89. Okay, cool. 500 star tokens. Clean out your green. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we actually do get to keep the items. Nice, not bad. Everyone wanted to see your nuts. Bring them out for display. Oh, cool, so you can actually use them for stuff. Ooh, a fedora. <laughs> Are those useful for anything else? Yeah, Pierre proudly displaying all the crops he bought from you. Can you keep your star tokens for the next year? What is really the... Oh, so like you use the star tokens to get prizes and then that leaves you for things. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right, so star drop, uh, mysterious fruit, light green rug, pepper poppers.
Star Drop, does it permanently increase your stamina? Holy cow. The 2k star is very good. Okay. Perma? Oh, holy cow. That's fantastic. All right, so it's worth spending all my money on that. All right, so then let's go ahead and just buy star tokens. What, do I have 500 and I need 2,000, so I need 1,500 times... Isn't that... Do I even have that much money? What happens if I want 1,500? Oh, that's not bad. Oh, I need 75,000. Guys, I don't have that much money. If you want easy stars, the fishing minigame is good. Okay. That's helpful. I could win big? Okay. Let's do the fishing one then. Alright, fishing boy. We are good at fishing, fortunately. Yeah, that would be nice if we could permanently increase the stamina. That's really, like, one of the biggest limiters in the game. Thank you for telling me that. I would not have known that. I, I thought that this would have just been a useless fair. Full of gaiety and merriment. Oh, what? I just... Oh, I have only this much time to catch all the fish. So 50 gold. How many is that going to get me? I could win big, though, guys. A lot of this game seems to depend on luck. Why are they holding all these fish captive, too? Oh, is the shooting minigame fun, too? Oh, let me try that as well. Hmm. 39 seconds. That's good, though. I mean, you know, all of your rewards get... Well, uh, rewarded. Or your... Your efforts get rewarded. I don't know why I'm moving around. I should stay in the same spot. Oh, perfect boy fish is more score. Oh, good. This fish didn't move at all. That fish... That fish was still. That was probably my last fish. Probably was aiming at 100, right? That is unfortunate. Unless if I get a chance to catch the last fish. Oh, I do get a chance. I do get a chance to catch the last of the fish. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, come on. Yes, there we go. Okay, I got... Whew, 113. Nice. Fish caught six. 193 perfection bonus. 372 for only 50? Jesus Christ. Okay, that's insane. This is going to be very easy. Can we do it again? And if not, then, well, whatever. Oh, we aren't- we haven't even used the slingshot at all. Oh, Jesus. That is kind of cool, though. Look at it go. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate that. I hate this game. This is awful. Why would anyone do this for fun? Okay, there we go. Now my timing is getting slightly better, despite the fact that I never use the slingshot at all. Ooh, look at me go, look at me go. I'm crazy, I'm crazy. All right, that is not so bad. Oh, this is where my MLG shooting game practice comes in handy. I guess you could kind of line them up for like a quick Nah, you can't, because then there's delay between them. That was horrible. Awful job, really. 77% accuracy. Okay, only 74. Not as good, but yeah, the shooting one, or the fishing one was definitely easier. What is this? Uh, can I... Oh, he's just displaying them. Show everyone your sword, man. Robin, Leah, Leah was, you were supposed to be my woman. Gamble on the wheel, 50% on green every time. Really? Recklessly gamble. That sounds like a good time. I can just do the fishing one over. The fishing one we should be able to get pretty fast, though. The fact that you can play the games multiple times, I feel like, makes this very easy.
Green is a 75% chance to win? Really? <laughs> okay, after I do this, I will do that. That sounds very funny. I didn't know that that could be, like, so amazingly exploited. <laughs> Let me see if I can get perfect on these ones, too. Yeah, the fishing is a little bit more fun. That's cool, though. I didn't know that was... It's just fun to, like, get to know some of the town events a little bit better. And there's always little exploits like that in these games. Or in this one in particular. I seem to remember stuff being like that in Harvest Moon. Another Joja call up. Man, am I getting any score for that? Oh, that's a real shame. Some Enjoy of this seems to depend on luck. Grind off. <laughs> thank you. I am very much. Vanguard, thank you very much for the seven months. You get 400 points in a run on fishing. Whoops. Oh, no, it had way too much bounce. Whoops. Hmm. Played the arcade games in the saloon yet? I've not. Uh, I did the first time I played the game, actually, so I know what's in there. Um, I think they're fun. Do you get star tokens for that, too? Or I wonder if you could conserve them from festival to festival. Okay, cool. We get one last hit so you don't, like, lose the whole timer. Cool. 68 to... 90. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, not great, clearly, but we had pretty, like, terrible... Stuff. 288. Okay, so then we do green every time, you say? Green. Okay, so let's just... Let me just see. 75% of the time. Are you kidding me? Please don't lie to me. I really don't want this to go bad. Well, it could also go bad, too, though. Yeah, you could bet all your star tokens on green, and then statistically you'd be fine, but I kind of want to try... Where's Penny at? What does Penny tell you? Oh, where is Penny? Oh, Penny's watching it because she's been seeing how the game works. Yeah, you just do it to gamble again. Hey, well, I won the Wheel of Chance ten times in a row and now the man won't let me play anymore. Oh, because she's green. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try it. Uh, let's try a hundred at a time. I feel like that would just be a pretty good way to... And we'll just t track it. Okay, good! Winner! If we get it three out of every four, so that's one out of one. One hundred again. Let's do it by hundreds. So we should get it roughly... We'll do like 12 trials, and if we get it, most of them, we'll know we're good. We won again! Okay, two for two. Awesome. Uh, okay, this is so easy. Um, one, I feel better about 200 now. We could do 200. I'm beginning to believe you. Unless if you're all lying to me in mass, which will also be rather impressive. Oh my god, it worked again. That's so amazing. That's so cool. Uh, I love that. But you want to make sure that you can do it enough times, I suppose, so that you could reach... That not too much will depend on the chance of one particular time. Okay, so statistically, we're kind of due for an orange now. Okay, but we got lucky again. That's very cool. That's very cool. <laughs> No, this is terrible time to go all in. You guys don't understand. Uh, well, you can wager more, I guess, proportionally, if you expect it to. Yeah, going all in is, like, the worst idea. Well, the thing is that if you run out, then you need more sources for them. Okay, this time it won't work. Okay, so there we go. We should do a couple more, though. Yeah, go all in! Well, one thing that you could do would be to gamble the distance between you and 2,000, but you're kind of limited by the amount of money that you have. So you want to kind of wade your way in. There are, like, in theories on how you should do this in probability if a random walk is, like, the assumed pattern. Bet the whole farm! <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we did get it. 
Is there anything else worth spending the star tokens on? Otherwise, I'll just go for the 2,000. We got a light green rug. Oh, but the star drop is really the best thing. The rare crow. Oh, cool, the rare crow. Do I have any time? Mm, yeah, I guess I could do a little bit more gambling. That's clearly the best way to do this. And do... Let me do 400. Because even if I lose, I'll at least get it faster. Statistically, it's so unlikely I'm going to get that three times in a row. And if so, I would just get more. Yay! 400 worked! Okay, let me try 400 again. This is so extremely easy to get right. <laughs> yeah, I know, now I'm addicted to gambling. I can't get enough! Uh, it is very fun, I gotta say. Hey, Slayer XP, thank you very much for, g for gambling away 10 gifts. Thank you very much for the 10 gift subs. I do appreciate it. All right, it's time for the end of the fair. So we're going to trade in our gambled stars for star dr Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Awesome. Conscience-altering substances. If star drop is strange, but the taste reminds you of pants. Questionable. Um, maximum energy level has increased. That's amazing. Okay, and the rare crow, because I've been told that this is a good item. Alright, I'm I'm sick of the fair. I do like the festival though. Infinite time passes at it. And that is a very good thing. You know, it was okay that it was a Tuesday because we were at the festival anyway, so the yoga ladies wouldn't have even made a difference now, would they? I think I've already watered those. I'm good. Let me go ahead and sell some of these items, though. Uh, do I really need all of these? Nice. Maybe this is a waste. I don't think I even need this for anything anymore. I just I have too much crap in my inventory. I want to sell some more of it. I guess to the point, even I don't know what I'm doing anymore. It just gets overwhelming. Scummy McBalls! Hey, thank you very much for the nine months. Yeah, conscience-altering substances that turn everything purple. You guys don't love that? Basically, the best thing. Favorite thing is... Oh, because I said my favorite thing was pants. I forgot about that. Yeah, we live on Name Farm. Don't forget it. It's an important place. So what is the Rare Crow good for? Oh, look at the sprinklers sprinkling. That is very cool. Oh my gosh, I think I just creamed with excitement. Like, cream cheese. Hey guys, the factory must grow. Uh, hmm. Am I, can I say that? Sprinklers. Yeah, maybe it's just that I play too many automation games. Cream. Yeah, like sour cream. Nice. Cream, the cooking show on TV teaches you recipes. Oh yeah, we should do that. You're right. I haven't really been doing enough of that. Ugh. It's like every year I'm going to learn something. But the fun part about this game is that by the time you're done with it, it's like Project Zomboid, you know, like you know too much about the game. And then just it's just crazy. Like even Zomboid, you know, you can watch the TV every day and that just feels great. The one thing that's been a total waste with some of these sprinklers though is that I just I simply don't really use these ones that are like the standard ones just because the pattern is too irregular for it to be useful. Like, you could stagger them, like, perpendicularly. I don't really even know. To each other. Diagonally? Not even diagonally. Just at this weird pattern that's kind of like a like a knight's root in chess or something like that. But it would just look really odd. Yeah. I, I shouldn't have done that. I kind of regret that.
Why you want to build up the better sprinklers? Yeah, I think you know level one sprinklers are pretty much useless. I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't have known these things before though too to be fair level one sprinklers seem to be basically useless You really don't need that many scarecrows. It's kind of a waste. Let me just put more of them over here because I think they look kind of cool Rare crow. Hey sweet. Oh, we could get some animals now though. Hey animal time. That could be fun Yeah, let's handle this uh, and then after that though the sprinklers would be good eventually in time it's just it's a year of discovery and it's kind of like your first year of teaching you know you just feel like you failed at everything and you want to redo <laughs> you really do you want to redo it sucks it's painful okay here we go purchase animals woo dairy cows oh these are pretty cheap Ooh, uh gretzo all right i'm just gonna go with the default i think Little Gretzo to her new home right all right away. Or if you have I don't know, would it make sense? Yeah, well maybe I'll do it with my cows. Sue. Ooh, rare crows have a bigger radius. How many chickens can I have in one place? I'm also gonna get a bunch of cows. Zozers. Uh, how many chickens and how many cows are good? Definitely gonna be at least like two, right? Gernard. Build mayo machines and cheese presses to process the product of my animals. Four chickens, a pair will reproduce. Oh, cool. I guess I'll leave two in there so that there's a little bit of room. Right, wouldn't that be good? Supplies shop as well. Um, so should I get, what else should I get for them? Decorative piece. Okay, oh wait a minute. No, I don't really need this. Milk from the cows, we'll need that. Warmer and happier during the winter, I'm gonna need that as well. Let me just buy a little bit of hay, I suppose, just so I have something to start, but I guess I can do it with the scythe. Right, that seems kind of useless. I just wanna see how it works. I mean, I have, so I have more money than I have time now, after all, as a wealthy farmer who gives salad to women. Wait a minute, won't the hay, don't we produce hay by shearing it on the farm? Oh, or do we need them to get it anyway? I'm probably gonna need another heater too, right? Work, cows, work. There we go. What will vanish in the winter? Okay, so how do we actually um, refuel the hay? Jump hay, you buy directly into the silo. When you're inside the barn coop, pull it out of the little feeder thing, you'll have to. So, harvest, yeah, harvesting grass with the scythe. That's what I thought it was, right? Oh, cool. So then that automatically adds hay to our inventory. Yeah, so basically they'll eat it, but we could always just buy more of it if we have to. That's good to know. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this, like, la 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 la, look at me, here I go, I'm so cool and amazing, like, I love grass. Where is it? <laughs> oh, it's automatically added to the silo, okay. 54 out of 240, okay, so I guess let's just get it up to the max, so we can do that. And then the hay itself, do we need to put that in, like dump it in somehow? And also to do the animals eat from the silo, from the chicken coop and the uh, barn? Or do they eat it from only one or the other? Is my other question, naturally. Also, do we put the pail into the barn or do they just have it? I guess we just keep it in our inventory, right? Are these cows too young? Grass closer to the barn, they'll need to load hay from the trowel that's inside the barn. Grab it from the hopper and pull it out of the trough. Hmm. Wait a minute, so did I have to connect the silo to the building itself? Did I do that totally wrong? 
Oh, there we go. There's the hay. Oh, and then I put the hay in here like this. Is this right? Oh, cool. Very cool. Nice. Do I have to feed them every damn day? That feels annoying. Really? Oh, I hate that. I do kind of hate that. That sucks. I hate that. Okay, so then they're just sad if they don't get it. How do we get it out of the... Hang on a second. I just have to destroy this tree because it's blocking my line of sight. Oh, look. Hazelnuts coming out of the trees. That's nice. Oh, you feed them only on rainy days. Okay. That is useful to know. Oh, so basically, if it rains, you don't have to water the plants, but you do have to feed your... Excuse me, your animals. That is kind of a nice, like, alternative, I suppose. Like, that way the work kind of gets managed. Fair. Because, of course, the animals are un... They die if they get wet. They just die immediately. This is nice. I feel like I'm being productive again at last. It's... It's nice because all the things that just seemed like a chore at the start are now... Like they're somehow useful and I'm not just wasting all my time. You know? I wish I had done some of this stuff earlier. If I don't open the door, they need to be fed every day. Oh, so there we go. So then I open up the little doors. Okay, and then they come out. Oh look, there they come! That's so much fun! Wow, the animals are out! That's so cool! Ah, animals! Very fun, very, very fun. I am gonna take out a little bit more of it, just because I want some more for the silo. And it feels very satisfying, too. This is great! Hey, I've got animals now! Wow, I feel so good about this! I know I have to leave some grass for them to eat. I'm probably going to stop when I get 240. Do they do it only nearby the thing? That would be... Well, they do have some of it there. Looks like the cows have found their way out. Where are the cows, anyway? Oh, no! I want to leave the grass near the barns! I totally messed that up. I am sorry. Uh, thank you. I am sorry that I am just stupid and I did not read... But I don't regret any of my decisions, for that matter. Alright, that's good. I think that's enough hay. Oh, they'll eat grass on the farm anywhere. Thank you, Ezekiel Bob. Honestly, probably just saved me a lifetime full of suffering. Uh, where is the grass in the... Oh, I can pick it out of there. Okay, so I get a little bit out of there, and then I can do one, two, three, four. I'm just going to leave that there to see, does it, like, stay in case if they eat it for the next day? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I have to figure it out myself. Uh, what else happened with these? Okay, good. The, the farm must grow. I bet you that there are more automation mods, aren't there? Things that, like, let you grow the factory. I mean, farm. <laughs> Oh, I do kind of love that. Oh, look, yeah, you're right. My energy meter does, like, look visibly larger, too. That's cool. Hmm. I guess I could go back to Leah and try to send her a salad. Though some things do start to get kind of repetitive. It just feels like there's a lot more work than any one man could finish in a day. And it, the one thing that I think I, I've honestly found a little bit disappointing, despite the fact that my farm is really nice, is just... Like, I don't really feel like I can do that much more stuff at the end of a day. Like, I, I don't really feel like by the end of the game I've built that much leverage up. Maybe it's just that I like automation games a lot. Mm, okay, she's still not home. Let's see if she's anywhere else. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be... I don't think I'm ever going to get her to, like, marry me, but... Oh, I suppose, yeah, having another person around would be of a, he of a help, you know. Yeah, I feel like it, it's a little... I like Stardew because it, it is, like, kind of chill. But yeah, it is kind of... Perhaps it is too busy to be relaxing. 
Like, I'm not having a good time. I feel upset. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I am. It's so nice to be by the river. Oh, look. She does have one heart for me. Single. Ready to mingle. What I really could use at this point, though, is that... Um, what is that material? I need refined quartz. Don't I have quartz, though? How do we refine the quartz? Yeah, I do have quartz, actually, come to think of it. How do I refine it? I'm trying to remember. Do I put that into the furnace, or do I bring it to the blacksmith? Um, in the furnace. Okay, good. Yeah, we should be able to get tons of these sprinklers. I totally forgot about that, that it could be refined. I don't know why. Did I find it in a different state earlier? I should be able to pretty easily get the entire farm sprinkling automated by the next year. It's a huge dub. Well, the thing is, what do you do when you have a lot of money now? Like, I can water more crops, but at a certain point, who cares? It's that there's so much space on the farm, and I'm like, how am I going to utilize all of this? It almost gives me anxiety. Um... Hmm. Get it from recycling the trash. Not a bad idea, not a bad idea. Mm, quartz. Okay, here we go. I will ref... Oh, requires one coal. Whoops, we totally forgot the coal. Um, cranberries going in, coal coming in. There we go. Man, this triple furnace game, though, has been a help. You can always do more of the stuff that you need. Okay, I'm going to show you the pattern that I would suggest for this, I guess. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just going to be an idiot when I do this, because it's annoying me that I didn't do it right. And you know what? I could probably do it better, like... Probably a better pattern than this. I'm not going to drive myself insane. I just want it done, sort of. Right, these things were just a total waste. I never should have even done them in the first place. Really, the pattern is going to be this. Now I feel like I've arrived at him finally. Everyone's like throwing up watching how I'm, oh my God, how could he do it like that? No, I know I messed up, but I'm, I'm fixing it now for what it should have been in the first place. I should really surround this entire thing with scarecrows. Yeah, like you see what I mean? Sprinkler here, sprinkler here, sprinkler here, sprinkler here, sprinkler here, sprinkler here. I'm actually going to get rid of the scarecrow. I know, very crazy of me. How would he do that? Take those and those and those. Cool. Hmm. Okay, it goes one, two, three, and boom. Oh, wow, that really took very little quartz to refine that quartz. That's amazing. Um, okay, it's time to go and... Two quality sprinklers, and... There we go. One here, and one here. And we'll keep trying to surround that all, and that's cool. Okay, now the scarecrow's so... <laughs> Why am I so... Why do I sound so scared when I say scarecrow? Um, one and two. Although the rare crow, I'm told, has a better radius now, too. Ah. Uh, I sound like somebody who knows what they're talking about when they're playing the game now, though. You know what I mean? Like, I think I got through the dumb phase. Like, the real dumb phase of playing the game. And that's, that is a good thing, probably. Hey, Bunty Shuffler, thank you very much for the sub. I know, everyone's upset with me, and I'm probably going to get fired. And just know that I did it for you. All right, I am tired now. All right, tomorrow, though, we rise to new sprinklers. And that's worth it. Let's just put in some gold before I go to bed. Ah, uh, I feel like I know what I'm doing. Now it's starting to feel more like, I don't know, Minecrafty in a way. <laughs> I know, everyone's upset. I live to upset you.
Okay. Please, some good news now. Look at all those sprinklers, though. Isn't that nice, despite the fact that I ruined everything? Look at me go. Aren't I improving, sort of, uh, gradually and at a very unsteady rate? Look at them go. Look at them go. I've been waiting for this moment. You should be happy for me. Stop being... Stop hating my victory. I'm glad, and that's enough. <laughs> I hate you all. I've been trying to do this for so many seasons. I thought this is the whole purpose of this game. Oh, look at me go, collecting the crops and making ASMR sound effects that are really nice. Wow, that's satisfying. Hey, wow, thank you to the anonymous person who just gifted five subs. Thank you very much, you mysterious person. You, you. That's very generous of you. That's very, like, selfless of you, whoever you are out there. Thank you very much. I'm gonna send more of it to the editors. I need to hang on to them because some of them are really good and I need to make sure that I am paying them a lot of money uh, to help me keep doing more challenges like this. And that's too true for it to not be funny. Um, it is funny, don't get it twisted, but yeah, it is more true than funny at this point and that is quite alarming. Um, they are quite good, and I I wish to please them. Here I go, though. Look at me go. Look at me go. I need one, two, three, four more sprinklers. And then after that, I guess we'll get scarecrows, and we'll stagger it somehow like that. Make sure they can't escape. I don't really believe in that. I think that you should make people love you so much that they don't want to escape. Yeah, the other one seems kind of like help someone else. <laughs> Someone else will help me escape. <laughs> Purely from a rational standpoint, of course, of course. Um, hang on a second. Let's go ahead and. Uh, no, I am. I am a fairly. One thing I'm learning about myself is that working for me is kind of like just watching someone be very confused all the time. <laughs> like, hey, I don't really know what I'm doing with this. Uh, hopefully, you trust me enough to do this project. Do you think I did a good job of describing this? Like. Uh, they seem to be okay with it, though. Um, I don't know, though. Hopefully they will be. I really just wanted to work with people again for a while. Hmm. Gold ore, yams, quartz. Oh, the quartz we will keep. Yeah, let's just get tons of gold, iron, and quartz, quartz, quartz. Let's go ham on these sprinklers now. Uh, I am going to need these items for the dungeon. There we go. I do have the fancy mine carts unlocked, but where can I use them? Because the mine carts in the mine said that they were useless. Um, that's a good point, DJ. But how? What am I? What do I need to do in order to use the mine carts? Because they just weren't like they weren't working for me before. I want to, but I can't because I suck. Help. Please help me. Please help me. <laughs> I need help. Oh, damn it. I put the... Ah, I did it in the wrong spot. Did everyone see what I did wrong? Now I need to destroy even more crops. I just want the pattern finished, though, for the winter so that I can leave these in the same places and not have to change everything. I think it's too late, though, for cranberry season, but I just want it because, really, I don't care about the money anymore. I care about making it look pretty. Is that... does that make sense? I know, everyone hates me. I hate myself for doing this, too. A, a lot. But it matters to me from, like, a, a YouTuber place. Like, that I want things to look a certain way. And so I hate myself until they do. Okay, yeah, there we go. It's done. I've finished it. Criticize me because I suck. I did it for science. Iron ore. Quartz, more quartz, more iron. Yeah, I think we could just use a bunch of these. Uh... Oh no, now we need more coal again too. Dang. We have coal, I guess we could just, well we could really make coal from scratch, but don't we have more? Yeah, there we go, 44 coal, I knew I had more. 
quartz. Mm, two, three, cool. Scarecrow. All right, there we go, Scarecrow. More axing. I know, I do stink, but like, at least I own up to it. And the goal of this wasn't to be good. The goal of this was to be bad and get you angry. I'm trying to... I'm trying to create a... a negative... I'm trying to attract negative attention. Isn't it obvious? Cool. I love negative attention. Although our life is just going to become one new massive nightmare when we get the next level of sprinklers. Although I feel like I could live with this one and leave them around. It's too bad you can't just upgrade them, you know? Or can you upgrade them in some way? Like putting on gold bars? And why are people making sprinklers out of gold? Of all the materials to use, like, oh yeah, let's just use gold to create them. Because we have so much of it just lying around, you know? Like, why not plastic, wood, something, just basic metal? So anything else, really. Video game logic again, right on time. 12 10 p.m. Uh, the whole day is going by. Let's just see how the mines are doing. The mines, the mines. Perturbed, well, luck will not be on the side. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really make a huge difference right now because we're just going back down to the um. I do have another gold bar. Let me just do a little bit more here. Crafting. I want this stuff done. Okay, hopefully you can appreciate the pattern I'm trying to create now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need three more, so I need more. I've got the quartz. I've got the iron. I need the gold. I still need more gold. That's my real limiter. I put in a little bit more iron. Alright, but I am. I'm feeling Minecraft now. You know, like I'm- the, the- the Minecraft factory must grow. But I am- I am running out of words for this game. Bring a chest with the next time and drop it at the entrance of the mine. Oh, that's true. That would be a good idea. Yeah, actually, let me do that this time. That'd be nice if I could conserve some loot. I'm probably not gonna get very- very far down. Um, okay, let me just pick it out. There we go. Oh, and yeah, I had to go the other way, too. I don't know why I did that. Cool. Yeah, the one thing I will say about Stardew is I feel like I kind of got tired of the challenge before the year ended. Like, I do wish that time went by a little bit faster in the game. Um, I think for one video, I'm not sure if I would do 100 days again. I might find something else, like maybe... I don't know, like, really productively spend a season so that I could think about stuff. But I did need to get to know the game, so I, I would have done this one exactly the same way again. It would be silly to do it and not, like, figure out what you're kind of trying to get at for it. Um, let me put away just the useless stuff. That's kind of useless. This is food. I don't really want to lose my quartz or my iron or my gold, so let me or the coal, so let me just leave those back here. Um, the salads I could keep with me. They are expensive, but like, who cares? Let's put the bamboo pole in there as well. And I obviously don't really want to lose that iron. Or, okay, this is a decent way of... Yeah, okay, I like that. Good idea. Thank you for that. That's helping me. Oh, go to the one by the bus. Wait a minute, really? I thought that it was the other mine cart. Well, the one in the mine. Hmm. Yeah, but it gives me a little bit more time to just learn more games, you know? Like, it, it is kind of a daunting task on YouTube, especially with games that are, like, very well established. Although my audience is very nice to me. Like, people are very good whenever I'm learning a new game. There will always be someone who will give me the entire cheat sheet in, like, a very well-organized set of tips so that it's helpful. And, like, they'll get me through a lot of the game. Because sometimes there's a game with a big community where everybody knows some stuff. 
that you don't know, and it's like, it's kind of daunting to start playing. Stardew is one of those examples, I feel like. Um, and I do like it, and I like learning it, but it's also just sometimes it's so much to learn so fast. Uh, and that can be kind of, well, yeah, daunting. Although I felt like that this challenge gave me the, the perfect opportunity to learn the whole game in and out. And I'll still be stupid enough that I get enjoyment out of it. I really do enjoy sucking at a game. Like, there's nothing like it. I'm just, like, enjoying the childlike state of discovery. It reminds me of stuff like, you know, not knowing where to go in the Pokemon games when I was a kid. And that was, there's no feeling like that. Of just like that sense of wonder and discovery. Okay, I gotta get going now. There's a lot of gold on this floor though. It's great. Ooh, look, an, a lot of gold down here. You're right, this is fantastic for the gold. I might even be able to get to 90 now without even trying on a bad day. Imagine that. I've played a tiny bit of Terraria. There's so many good games now, though. Well, the thing that I'm starting to think is, like, hey, if I enjoy it enough... And I really will say that, like, a lot of YouTube I know is, is gonna get less and less about me creating, like, I don't know, a video that I think is really aesthetically good and more just about me having fun, which I'm, like, pretty thankful for. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it'll allow me to just explore more varieties of gaming like I don't know just getting to play a little indie game that nobody knows about that I find cool or something like that and sometimes that kind of brings me back to the original reason why I created the channel in the first place which was like to kind of highlight indie games that I thought were cool and deserved attention but I didn't really have an audience since I wasn't good at anything and now by doing that I guess enough people like it and are willing to like hang out I want to see what I'm up to, and I'm like, okay, cool. But yeah, there's so many good games out there that I, I would want to spend more time with. And it's just always like, oh, this is way too small for the stuff that I do, and it's tricky. Navigating that, and yet still, like, you know, doing a good variety of other stuff, too. And stuff like The Sims, I could pretty much replay infinitely. Okay, that was awful. <laughs> I was not looking at my health bar. Oh, wait a minute. Robin finds you? That's a weird alternate. At least I put away all the unimportant items. Honestly, that's not that bad, what I lost. It's a good thing I put away all the important items. I did keep the things that I cared about. Yeah, I kept the gold ore, so who cares? Uh, better luck next time. Um, cool. Here we go. And... Bamboo pole, whoops, there we go, put that in there, and then we'll just put that back in our inventory, nice. Okay, 7.10 p.m., I'm almost dead. That's Conveniently, almost I've never died. Hey, Ballistic Meat, how are you doing? Hey, thank you very much for the 23 months, Jesus Christ. Ah, man, that means a lot. That's been a long time, I can't believe we've been streaming for 23 months now. Making me feel like an old man now. Subscribed on YouTube for the aesthetic but savory. Oh, thank you. All the more fixed. I commented on the Junimos dancing. Uh, the Junimos. Man, I forget their proper name so much of the time. The Junimos. Where the Junimos dance. So that should give us three more sprinklers and that'll complete this array. Nice. I think I'll wait till morning. Actually, it's 8.20 p.m. If I do it, then tomorrow morning I have a full crop watering, and I basically don't even have to water my crops anymore. I know it looks like crap, guys, but... I mean, it's my crap. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's awesome. So cool. Um, now, if only I could plant them at a season, like, pattern that made sense rather than just being completely awful. I think I would do, like, one field worth of these things, but I don't have to waste all that energy watering anymore. The farm must grow. Hmm. Resource fragment of bone. 
You know, I could probably get to organizing some of these chests better now. Now I'm starting to get to more of this, like, kind of more important long-term work. You know what I mean? Like, I could have one for just basic resources, and that might be nice. Just to kind of have that to always go to be a little bit more organized. There's enough stuff here now that it's kind of justified, right? Yeah. Um... Hmm. And I could probably put those in some, like, more out-of-the-way spot so that I'm not really seeing them as much. Okay, so let's go, like, four chests, and we'll do one for each season, and let's just start to organize things that make sense to organize. Like, um... It's too bad you can't put them back there, really. Um, hmm... I guess we could put them back here, like, one, two, three, four. That looks like a kind of a sensible place to put my seasonal crops, you know? Like, that way I see it. So, what is it? Spring, summer, fall, winter, you could do. And we could color code those chests. So we'll do, like, spring and... I don't know, what color says spring to you? Like, yellow? Yellow says spring to me. Summer is, like... Uh, mm, summer is, like, orange. Or I guess it could be pink. Summer. Well, fall is also kind of or darker orange. Fall. Winter is definitely like a kind of a cool blue. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, spring could be green, actually. That's nice. Spring. Summer is yellow. I like that. Nice. Fall is like kind of dark orange. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Very like kind of Legend of Zelda here, what we've got going. I like some sort of organizational system to start better than none. We don't really have much of anything, though. This seems like a decent way to organize. I mean, it's kind of fun to make your own. Not even really what I wanted. Uh, that, I think I'd also like a place for, like, basic resources. Starfruit. So, starfruit comes out in the summer. Okay. Can you, like, label them, too? Ore and gems and stuff. Can you name the chests as well? Toggle color picker. Okay, there we go. Add to existing stonks. Organize. Mm. I think, like, building supplies should probably go right by my house. Something just tells me that would feel good. Like, um... Like stone, wood, hardwood. We should also have one for combat materials. And maybe that could be near like the exit to the farm or something like that. So let's go ahead here. Should have done this a while back. Oh, I like this. This is really fun. Like just kind of getting things laid out. A little bit of me wishes I had done this earlier, but I also wouldn't have known what system to create too. So that's fair. Um, we could put like old weapons that we aren't using in gear in here too. Bamboo. Okay, the crystal dagger. Yeah, we aren't really using that. I guess the bomb would sort of be considered a weapon, right? That could be cool. I'm going to stay up till 2 tonight just because I want these things done before morning. Bombs. Mm. Mind dump chest, so when you get back, you click on the chest and just add it. Oh yeah, you know, you're right. It would be nice to also, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. Uh, this is a good organizational principle. Uh, honestly, in real life too. Um, having just one bin that everything that you collect goes into is kind of a cool idea. Like, um, it's a good way to just kind of organize your thoughts. And so this kind of applies to video games too. There we go. I don't need to sleep, I just eat salad. Um, there's too much crap in that chest right now. Or can I... No, there's too much stuff in it. Too much in there. This one could work for now. Let's empty out that chest, put some of it in here. Uh, yeah, I might need multiple collection chests, but the idea is going to be that any time that that chest fills up, then I put other stuff into it. Okay, cool. And then we'll put that 
in here. I haven't really even used the furnace at all, though. Okay, so now I'm going to take this. Man, am I going to even get to collect the gold? Jeez. Okay, and then I'm thinking here, this is going to be our collection chest. So this is just where I put random stuff that I don't, re I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with it yet. So I have the quartz, I have the iron. Let me just make sure I get these things done before the end of the day. And... 1.10 a.m. <laughs> really pushing our luck right here. And put that down. One, two, three. Okay, cool. All right, my sprinklers are in place. The factory must grow. Very nice. I like this. We have an actual organizational system now. <laughs> but the thing is, we wouldn't have known what to do earlier. Okay, we have completed the sprinklers now. Sell it to the adventurers. We could do that. I want to keep some of it around, though, too, just because it gives me anxiety to not decide. Okay, sprinklers are done. Ooh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Like how they kind of go off and on in the morning. And now we don't have any work to do. That's really cool. Uh... And I'm going to get organized so I don't just feel bad about myself all the time. Um, I think that this makes sense to keep those seeds out of the way. I'm just trying to take care of, like, the extraneous materials. I think we could even have two collection chests because, you know, like, we're just going to have a lot of crap. I don't want to be organizing every single day, but it, you know, like, a little bit of work up front seems like it would prevent us from getting really disorganized. And now the next time I play, I feel like I could do a better job in one year. You know, you could even do a before-after, like, how much did I accomplish in one year while knowing how to play the game and not while knowing how to play the game. That, I think that stuff is cool to watch, too. Maybe we'll go to the... Uh, I could go to the cheap TV. I really haven't been making very good use of the TV, DJ. Right now, for today, I think I'm, I'm not even... The thing is that I had so many tips that I just got so scatterbrained, I think I'm just going to work on one project at a time. You're right, though. I should. I will just this once. Because you're so, you are very nice to me, and I do appreciate it. Like, honestly, with your infinite knowledge of every game I like, how are you this amazing? How... What is the secret? Another thing I will say that I kind of regret is putting everything quite so close to my farm, just for the visual sake of it. I might have put a little bit more of my inventories here, though. Pumpkin from you. My daughter and I want to carve a jack-o'-lantern from the... Caroline. Are you just asking me for pumpkins now? What do you think we are, like BFFs? Friends don't use their friends for pumpkins. It's over. Sorry. You should have appreciated it. Now let's take all of our crap and put it into these ones because I'm going to deem these two bins as my collection bins, okay? Um, this is actually a principle that I used to say organized in real life. It's from a, a book called David Allen's Getting Things Done. Uh, and he says that whenever, and this was a principle I had to learn around the time that I was a teacher, because kids would just hand me pieces of paper at random times, like, Hey, Mr. Amphibian, like, I finished my homework, uh, and it's, like, three weeks late, because they were very young, and they, like, were still kind of, <laughs> like, it, it was a little annoying, because it's sort of like, if they were older, you could just be like, I can't accept this. Like, that would be the reality of the situation if you were, like, a professor or something like that. But no, like, they were young kids, and it was sort of like, okay, uh, thank you. Like, at least you tried. <laughs> and, like, you know, it wasn't amazing, but it was also just like, okay, like, high expectations and try to stay organized. And uh, it's a lot of chasing after people for pieces of paper. But anyway, um, that is to say my backpack originally as a teacher was just a mess. Because you're only as organized as your messiest student is. And so I had to come upon a strategy where I would just, like, take whatever paper anyone gave to me. And I just had a place where everything would go. And then only when I had time and headspace to sort through everything, then I would, like, then I would worry about it, you know? 
Anyway, like, it, it prevents you from having other people's disorganized lives bleed into yours because they're pretty disorganized some of the time. Um, and that is not amazing. What do I need to recycle here? I think I'm just going to recycle some of this corn. Or I don't know, I have too much stuff on me. I don't really feel like I've been using this warp totem. Let me just sell pine cones. Wheat. Let me just sell these two. These need to be sold. Merge stacks. Merge stacks. Where is it? Where am I for merge stacks? Uh, do they are they not merged in the um? Yeah, the chest coloring does help. I wish that there were some other dimension to organize around. Um, but that is a help, you're right. Um, I guess I'm gonna do one for, like, gear. I'm just gonna do one chest for gear. I haven't really decided my full meta Stardew build yet. Gear, this is gear. That's gear. Um, gear. Um, hmm. What else is gear? I don't think there's any other gear in here. There's more adventuring gear in here. The button above organize. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's very cool. I like that. I like that. Thank you. That's a help. Here we go. Weapons. Weapons. That helps me a lot. Oh, I might use that often. Oh, that way you could always just easily offload chests into the... That's a real help, DJ. Thank you. Ah, uh, these are useful quality of life improvements. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, by the time we get to the end, like, the original farm is just gonna look like such a mess. Like, what was I thinking? I guess when you don't even know what you're coming at, though, it does make sense. Cool. Those two buttons are going to be super useful. Can't you guess you can't really do that there. Okay, so what other things would be useful for us? I think maybe like some sort of fishing pole thing. And I could maybe put... I, since you can't really name things, I'm going to put them near landmarks that make me think of them. So I think like any extra fishing gear I could put maybe near this little pond. And that might be like a visually informative way to remember it. You know, like, oh, I put the fishing stuff near the pond. Because it's water. Fish live in the water. Those are my facts. I really just have that one pole, though. Generally, I like to keep these tools on me. I could also put the pail for the animals in a chest nearby the animal thing. I'm just thinking of things, anything in my inventory that's kind of talking to me. This is another organizational principle that I learned from David Allen. Like, if something is bothering you, that means you didn't take a time or a place to, like, take care of it. Another thing I could do would be hay, I suppose. If I have extra of it. Yes, yeah, good. I mean, you know, you need to be really disorganized in order to learn how to get... I would consider myself a pretty organized person right now, though. Like, one thing is that since I can pretty much pace my life around my work, like, with YouTube and stuff, I find that things don't tend to go out into disarray. Like, I will miss a couple days of video creation if it means feeling organized, because... Like, it helps me stay creative. Because I can't be creative if I feel like things are unresolved. Okay, good. That gives us more space for these awesome furnaces now again. Um, what else do we have to do? Let's grab this stuff. And then we could have, like, one better designated area for furnaces. Um, this doesn't need to be here at all. It could just be somewhere random. Probably far away would be better. Out of the way. More that just looks kind of like scenic. How far back can I put it? I guess that makes sense. I think that these trees being here is starting to look ugly. What other things could we get um, space for? I guess we need... 
I'd like to be able to put my rocks into something, like all the amazing rocks that I'm finding, because there's just so many of them, like all the minerals. They're minerals, Marie. Oh, you have to be friends with your animals every day? Damn it. I, I don't even like these animals, guys. You told me that these animals were gonna make my life easier, and now you're telling me they're like needy, and hey, like you don't text me often enough. Uh, we aren't friends anymore. Like, what the hell, cow? You needy... You needy, uh, mammal you? Whatever you are. I'm putting the minerals in here. Mineral, 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 mineral. This looks like a mineral. Oh, this is amazing. Look at all the minerals that are going in, Marie. We're getting raided by Rabaz. Hey, what's up, Rabaz? How was your stream? I haven't checked on the cave. Hang on a second, I'm just gonna give a shout out to Rabaz. What were you guys playing? Is the goddamn uh, SO command working? Here we go. Oh, you guys were doing Star Sector. Who doesn't love a good game of Star Sector? I imagine you had a pretty long stream. Don't stop playing this. Damn it, stop playing this. I don't want to play it again. I never played it in my time. If you're doing Star Sector, though, man, like, I don't... I don't... I don't mess around with that anymore. Like, I can't take on another project at this time because everyone is just telling me I do everything wrong. And I feel honestly awful about myself whenever I play this game. Hang on a second. Minerals are the color of the center of the earth, which is black. I've never been there, but I've been told by people who have been there. Well, thanks for sending your amazing people over here. I do hope you guys had a good stream. Honestly, like, one of the better, one of the funnier, one of the more breedable and good look. <laughs> If I may, not enough people say that I'm breedable. Do people call you breedable? Because I wish more would call me. But yeah, go check out Rabaz if you want like a good time, that is. Um, but, oh, wait a minute. We got to make this chest blue because blue is the color of water. Because water reflects the sky. And the sky is blue because there are wavelengths that don't get through, or that pass through the atmosphere. And that's the way that the sky is blue. But not the other. That is actually true. That's the reason why shadows are slightly blue. Oh, wait a minute. Damn it. Okay, that is the right color. Sorry, I'm wearing... I'm very confused if you aren't able to tell. But yeah, I do hope you're looking and feeling breedable today. Um, as I always am every day and everywhere. Um... What other sorts of things do we have? Okay, we have like loot from monsters, monster loot. I think that that would be good in like a red chest over here. I'm liking this chest system. A system is better than none. Uh, I will say that. Oh yeah, we also need like basic materials. That would be a good one. Trying to get into a, turn into a male seahorse. Oh, man. What would that be like? I wish to bear my children as a seahorse. Perhaps one time when I'm reincarnated, I'll be reincarnated briefly as a male seahorse, and I will get to experience the miracle of childbirth. No. Am I the only one with this desire? There's got to be somebody else like, nah, no one understands me. <laughs> Imagine all- <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, a train. I want to go do that minecart too. But you know, I'm more enthusiastic about the organizing too. One thing that I've learned about Stardew is that there's going to be a lot of ideas that people will tell you to do. And you gotta do it at your own pace or you're going to explode. Uh, and I didn't know what to do, which made that task very daunting at the beginning. But now I- I think I have some idea of what's going on around me again. If it, yeah, like the woman who was addicted to eating paper. Like, can you imagine the therapist who was dealing with that? Like, well, I've been in therapy for four years. I simply can't stop eating paper. It's too delicious. There are people with these problems out there, though. And, uh, they're, this is what our economy runs on, you know? 
That's why we're working so hard in our world to support one another. It's time to make some more chests. What do you say? All right, here we go. Okay, there we go. Woo, woo, very cool. We're going to uh, color this chest. I would say the color of monster loot is probably like a deep blood red. Uh, and we will use that in order to create slime, solar essence, probably void essence too we could put in there. Just trying to think of like where I would identify everything as being. Now the main idea here isn't to spend more time organizing and like dote after it. But the main idea is that we can come back to the farm. We don't spend a lot of time. Like a good organizational system doesn't take a long time for you to... Like, you don't have to keep figuring it back out all of the time. The main idea is that, and like, this is just a principle of organization, is that it minimizes the amount of time that you have to spend when you put new things into it. Like, it doesn't, it's not like you need to reapproach the whole system every single time you come back to it. It should be fun, too. I think that this is a fun organizational system, and I like it. I'm going to cut down all the trees over here, though. Fill the cat's water. Oh, the cat hasn't eaten in months. I mean, had anything to drink. Yeah, don't forget to water your cat, everyone. Oh my god, that's a real thing. I didn't even realize that. This cat has been... The cat should be studied. It's very... Like... It could be barely alive. Oh, what is... What are these things as well? I don't know what these little statuettes are. Um... Okay, I'm thinking that building resources. Building resources could maybe go... I'm probably going to end up using all of these areas for collection. The main idea is to just come dump stuff off by my house when I get home. And then go. Where would I put building resources, though? I think I'm going to make my building resources thing gray. Yeah, that's good. And then in here, I'm going to put the wood. Like stone... Yeah, let's just put in resources. Coal, what else is considered a resource? A battery pack is technically a resource, but I don't really think of these things in the same way as like a resource resource, you know what I mean? Um, fertilizers could probably go next to all my seasonal containers too, actually. Let's just not use quite this many for the collection right here. I know it seems a little bit crazy, but maybe you pick up some of your own design principles here, you know? Like, I'm not that stupid. I've somehow managed to get my way through life. We'll put fertilizers in here. Quality fertilizer, retaining soil, that's good. Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger's? I don't know how you say it. We could probably do one for food as well. Um... Oh, or food we could just put in the fridge, but do we want another one for food? Or we could put, like, a chest for food as well in the kitchen. What do you say? What do you say? Wouldn't that be fun? Let's just tire ourselves out with the axe. How, how are my skills doing as well? My farming has really come a long way. I, I could get a little bit better with the um, mining and the and the cutting, fishing, combat. But yeah, like, I would say one year, it seems you could get... Like, does your character really level up more, or is that... I feel like I'll be a well-oiled machine, though, by the end of year one. That's nice. Man, I do actually feel like I've accomplished something now, though. I'm glad that I took this time to get organized. I kind of underestimated the power of this. I feel so much better about everything on the farm. Although I wasted a day, it's, it's just going to make me a lot more ready. Oh, like a freezer chest. Oh, I suppose I know what you mean. I don't know if you could... Uh, does it really do anything for them to be in the fridge? Maybe, maybe not. What else am I getting here now? Um... What are the, we should look at what other kinds of items we got and then just see what's kind of talking to us. Hang on a second. Okay, so we could merge the stacks. That's such a nice tool to have. Okay, so another thing that we've got is seeds. Uh, let's plant a tree somewhere so that we know that there's seeds in it. 
And then we'll put it, like, right next to that. That's a good idea. Um, hmm. I could probably put that... Let me put it, like, south of the ri south of the pond. I think, like, right here? No, it's covered up by grass. Uh, where is a good place for that? Um, it might be nice to, like, grow a tree right next to the farm, but I don't want to get in the way of my other things. Um... You know, maybe like right here next to this growing tree would be good. Like right here. And we'll call that seeds. Okay, and then this is going to be like kind of a darker shade of green. We'll put an acorn in there. Oh, I'm really liking this. I feel so organized now. There's nothing like when you feel... Are you people organized or are you just horribly disorganized? I do like being organized in life. Oh, good. Now I know where everything belongs. I feel so much better now. Wow, I felt horrible for years. <laughs> when you finally come out of your existential nightmare of not knowing what to do. Oh, my minerals. I know where those belong. I can put that in there. My bombs. I know where my bombs belong. Seeds. I know where those belong. I guess I could uh, plant seeds I might handle a little bit differently. If I play through this game on YouTube, if, if so, so I'll get watching it right away. I have a little bit of the early game, but this is the first time I've really tried a full year. Ooh, signs and put an item icon on it. Maybe I could do that in two. Right now, I mean, I, I guess this sort of works for like a whole system. Um, let me just merge. That merge tool is so good. I love that. Wow. Really amazing. 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 <laughs> minerals, 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 bombs. Minerals, minerals, minerals. And then some of these items are just really strange and random. Sometimes if you can't spot it fast, too, that's a help. Okay, so now I can merge. Ooh, that feels... This just feels right. I think I found the right system now, guys. Put my bombs away? Oh, that is used for crafting. I'll just put it in there. Eh, that's probably fine. Now, where do I put fruit? Because sometimes I want to keep fruit around. Would it be useful to just put it in the season? Or maybe I'll just make one area for all of my fruit. Could even organize it by color if I wanted to. For God's sake. Whoops, we could just do that. Uh, see how much time we saved... I like that. I could probably put... Sap, I kind of... I just think of sap as a resource. I know it's a forage, but I think of it as a resource. So it makes a difference what I think of it to me. Because I'll be the one going to the chest. Just because there's so much of it. Um, hmm, what else is there to do? This is just another one of my collection chests. Let me get to bed. It's 1130. Was that two days on organizing? <laughs> or just one? Oh, no, that was just one day. Okay, my axe proficiency improved. Cool. Sweet. Improvement. Oh, they pretty recently did the merge for quality of life? I like that. That's a really big improvement to the game. Saves a lot of time. That way you could just kind of thoughtlessly go to all the chests to dump off your items. Oh, I love this. The farm must grow. See, these are real organizational principles because think of it, in your own daily life, like we don't have the technology in society to just automate everything yet. Yet. We could keep ores and maybe iron bars between the input and output of these chests. So let's go ahead and just say, um, um, hmm. I, cause I don't think this is a very effective place to just leave these things. I want them to be somewhat near this. I gotta move the chicken coop somewhere else. I don't think this was a good place to put it. Just thinking of like what kind of dimension I want to stack these things along. Okay, we'll just do something very basic for now. So we'll do like three. And then we'll do, let's go back over to our resource chest. See, now this is useful cause I know where to get all of my wood. So I can just do this, one, two, three, craft, put them back in. 
Go. Good. Alright, I did it. See, that's so much faster to find the resources than it was before. Plop one and two, in and out. So that way we know to ourselves that the inputs, any type of like... Um, gold ore, iron ore. Oh, some of them, I guess, that are inputs are like quartz, too, though. Anything that's smeltable could go in there. And then all the outputs go on the other side. That way it's easy to find them. Oh, did I? Well, my animals... My animals can just die, because I don't care about them that much. I should... But I don't. Maybe I will go feed them, though. I don't really have anything better to do. Why am I being so bad to them? This is the one downside of playing. Uh, <laughs> I do feel like kind of, at times, very stream of consciousness doing this on Twitch. I do appreciate the help. You guys are like, oh, try to make sure that the animals don't die. I'm like, I need to organize my pencils. <laughs> and all t everyone dies in the end. And it is sad. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, as, as my mom once said... Uh, I, th that didn't happen. Don't worry. I had a wonderful childhood. Um, let's go on. Chest. Here we go. Oh, and the boots. Just all of this crap can now come to... It felt so disorganized for so long. Oh, this is also kind of... I guess we could put this here. I haven't really created a row of these things, though. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I could put that there. Hmm. Okay, chest. Uh, what was this? This was the blacksmith one I wanted. So this was like... I'm g I am gotta bring these things to town, you know? I'm gonna put this over here. Because these are to-go, kind of. Like in my to-go box. And I will make this one... What color is the blacksmith? Black for the blacksmith. Okay, there we go. And let's put in Omni Geodes and Frozen Geodes and whatever were those other things, like the nut-shaped things that he had to crack. At this point in time, too, I'm probably just going to down these trees because these are kind of more in my way. They look good, but they're just visually distracting. There we go. Cool. I could probably get better tools now, too. I, I really wasn't thinking about it. How long do my videos usually take to edit? Usually about 40 hours to a video. It's a lot of time. Or, I mean, not to edit, but to make the whole thing. I'd say the edit takes like 20. Depends, depends on the video. Put that in building materials. Gold, etc. I could. Maybe I will. I, I want to separate them a little bit more, I suppose, like, granularly or functionally. If I can, where I can. If you know what I mean. I don't, even I don't know what I mean. Um, okay, bars of things, refined. Anything that gets refined goes out here, although some of these are resources. Okay, this is good. Put the things in that belong in there, and I believe that's it. We'll hopefully get exhaustive stacks of each of these things. Is there a limit to the number of stacks? Mm, void essence. Uh, it, it would be nice on the farm to do these like one by one, because it is kind of a job for a whole week or like a couple of days, but now I get it. Oh, where did I put seeds? <laughs> I want to say here? Okay, this is pretty good, if I can remember it in a second or two. Cool. Okay, now we have more bat stuff. Monster loot. Uh, here we go. One, two, and... And the bait will go in another location. Yeah, 40 hours for a 15-ish minute video. It is a lot of work, but it's worth it. I love doing it. 
I mean, it's it's the things that I think other people aren't really willing to do, and I think that's the reason why my videos get a lot of uh, views. I mean, all of the... Well, the thing that I'll describe about the video editing process... It's not like... It's not really like film. I was kind of thinking about this as I was looking over the editor's videos, and the thing that I've kind of learned to do... This came from a Gray Still Plays AMA on Reddit. Like, he, he really said it well himself when he did this. When you're making, like, 10 to 12 minute videos on YouTube, um, like, something interesting needs to happen every 10 seconds. And if it doesn't, like, it's just kind of a letdown. Um, and I, I do observe that for myself. Like, I, I enjoy videos where something satisfying is happening every 10 seconds. Not everybody, I can stand for tons, I really like watching podcasts, too. There's tons of people with really long attention spans and stuff like that, too. And everyone has a long attention span for something, so I'm not... I'm generalizing a lot here, but appreciate that for that type of thing that I'm talking about. Anyway, um... But yeah, like, the whole pattern of making a video is, like, building tension and then releasing it really quickly. That's, like... That's, like, the goal of creating a satisfying video. Um, as I see it. And there's plenty of ways to do it, too. Not to be all and end all, but yeah, that's how I see it. Whoops, hazelnuts don't belong in there. I don't know why I put that in there. Clay, I think of just as like another resource, so let's put that in there. Hay, we could put the hay in. Hay in there. Yeah. If I heard of Oxygen Not Included, hell yeah, I love Oxygen Not Included. I haven't played it in a while, but it's a cool game. The same explanation for what makes good music or a good story. Yeah, like, basically all art is about tension and release. Like, music is a really good example. Think of EDM tracks, the way that they're arranged. Like, there's, uh, you know, build up, drop, and chorus. Like, that's the, just the most reliable pattern in human psychology. It, like, it's, it's objectively satisfying. And that's what you're kind of creating when you're making a video that's good. Like, for example, one thing that's kind of subtle is uh, a lot of the time in the past when I didn't really know what I was doing, I would just zoom in on everything because one principle of video editing is sort of like, oh, well, motion draws the eye and it makes things seem like they're getting interesting. But for example, like, when I didn't really know what I was doing with that, I would just zoom on everything. And really, like, you're building tons of tension, but you're never really resolving it in any way that's, like, satisfying in a video. Um, so... Like, no one, like, it never really came to a satisfying end. It was just sort of, it got annoying because I wasn't really applying a, a principle of design behind it. I was just sort of using effects randomly um, when I was first, like, starting to experiment with special effects in videos. No, and nothing crazy. I'm just talking about, like, basic camera motions and stuff like that. I had no idea what I was doing. But, um, yeah, like, over the years, I've kind of refined it and started to just... I guess, like, naturally understand a little bit more of where it... Anyway, I'm still learning. I'm still a work in progress myself, so I don't know. Take that with a grain of salt, but yeah. What I learned in years on YouTube. I think it's cool. I think it's very rewarding to make videos. It's like a very satisfying art form. Because it's so close to real life. Hmm. Where did I say I had minerals again? They're minerals, Marie. Oh yeah, I was putting them in here. I guess I should take the quartz out now, right? Because that's like... Refinable. There we go. Yeah, Stardew's good. It's a bit long to do one year. I think I should have done half a year. I don't think I can put 24 hours of... But I mean, for example, like, that's something like... I'll probably spend, I don't know, five or six hours writing the script and stuff like that. So, I mean, like, this video for me, I've actually not really cut down the time on, like, how much time it takes. I've just wanted to play this game really bad, so I want to do it right now. Um, but yeah, I tried to bring my loop for making a video down from, like, 40 or 50 hours down to, like, 16 hours, you know, or something like that. Max. 12, maybe, would be good. Even 16, I could get a couple of things done in a week. And that would be fun. I like it. I do like the whole process. It's just that there's not enough time, like, for it to work. 
So it is funny in that way. I literally came to the point on YouTube where I was like, oh, there's not enough time to create things. Oh no, this is horrible. Mm, okay, let me put all of my crops and fruit in the fridge as well. And then when I start to run out of space and time, just anything that gives me health and energy. Bones are a resource, but that is also kind of like a loot from an animal or from a monster. Forage, I might be able to put in there. Why don't I put forage into a chest? I think that makes sense. Valheim stream went. I never said that, did I? Did I say that? I would like to. There is literally too much good game, guys. When are you going to play Rocket Power Beach Bandits for PS2? That's the game I've been wanting to play. <laughs> Actually, I have that sitting on my shelf. I'm like, when? When can I play the Nickelodeon PS2 games? I have really, like, bizarre, nostalgic games that I want to play. Like, oh, I can't wait to play the Rugrats game. Even Nintendogs is... That's not really that weird. Everyone remembers Nintendogs. I want to seriously play Nintendogs, though. I have it sitting on my shelf. I've spent all this money on a recording setup so that I can play Nintendogs. I want to authentically try to train a Shiba Inu. Maybe like a dachshund. A little hot dog dog. Look at him running around like a piece of food. That's a good time to me. All that for just one chest. Uh, I'm thinking buildings could go in like a white chest here. I guess like building materials, the buildings themselves could go into this. Yeah, like sprinklers that I'm not using. Maybe any type of forage. Whoops, put that back. Uh, and then can I craft? Let me just make a third one of these. Good, now I can put back the wood. Yeah, Scorsese, Scorsese that's interesting, like a director who, just like, Scorsese is so prolific in what he's made. When you think about what he's probably wanted to make, and, like, how much time somebody puts into a film, that's crazy. For me, the scope of YouTube videos is just so nicely small. I'm so happy that I do the thing on the scale that I do so that I can exhaustively cover at least one air. I feel like such a more multi-dimensional person, too, which is, like, odd kind of be limited to gaming in that way but the fun part is that as in film you do get to explore a lot more of your interests like I get to soundtrack videos so that means I get to explore music there's tons of musical stuff I do in my head on the side when I'm making these videos and like I was getting to talk to some of the editors about it and it was just a really good conversation I was really enjoying it but um yeah like you never seem to get the time you know Okay, this is a spring crop. Oops, that's summer. Spring? Okay, is this just like, what is this again? Fertilizer? I guess any time of year seeds would also work in here. And then foraging? Where do I think of foraging? Let me just put that on the other side of the cave, I suppose. All right. I think we're pretty good now. We're going somewhere. Foraging. Foraging. All right, now we've just got what? Like these random bizarre items, like the warp totem. Um, I'll put that somewhere weird. Yeah, I rarely get that. So let me put that even further to the... To this side. And just like in... I'll make the chest like... Uh, I'll make it white also. Put that in there. And then we need one for flowers, which I think that needs to be pink, and we put that near the forage. That sounds good. Okay, I think, um, yeah, pink for flowers, because flowers are so nice. Phew. I, it's been crazy the last couple of days to just organize all of this stuff. I feel good, I although I know I didn't really get anything done, and I do feel bad about that, but 
I feel better about what I did because I accomplished something that I kind of planned originally. I think that's how you need to play Stardew if you want to avoid going crazy. Because you could go very crazy playing this. Hey, the Shook Wolf. Thank you so much for the very kind words. True joy is planning your Nintendog's walk path. Oh my gosh, I've forgotten about that. The joys of that. Wow. I can't wait to... <laughs> yeah, just games that, you know, they say that your tastes all develop when you're like, what, 12 years old or something? So, uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff I've really wanted to do over time is just stuff that I enjoyed when I was like a young kid. Where do we have, um, coal? Did we put coal in here as well? Did the earth belch just now? What was that sound? I feel good about my stuff now. I haven't felt good in a long time. I haven't felt good in a long time. Oh, God, look at me. Look at me go. I don't deserve it. Oh no, I might faint. I'll just eat some grapes. I'm gonna grape you. <laughs> oh my god. Do you guys remember the- <laughs> Who is that, the whitest kids you know? <laughs> grape me. Oh my god. Uh, old YouTube. Where have the days gone? Alright, here we go. We got another chest. Yeah. Sad boy. I've got four of these collection chests now. Okay, so this is literally another place to put the food leave. Here we go, and I'm clearly not going to have enough food for all of the, uh, uh, room for all the food that I've got in my inventory, but I now think I have completed the long and painful process. I will put the fish into the kitchen area, because why not? But, um, let me do, did I do, oh no, I didn't do a pink chest. That's the one last one I missed. Let's just use one of these. Oops. There we go. Um, weird stuff. Okay, and then this is pink for flowers. Which one is, there we go, pink. And flowers, flowers, flowers. Okay, I think other than seashells, that's pretty much it. Fairy rose. I guess we'll just put flowers all in there, whatever they give us, because that's kind of an unusual item. Phew, that was really long, but we managed to get to the end of it. That feels good. That feels amazing. So now the the great part is I have all this random stuff in my inventory, but I can pretty much just go like this. Like, okay, building resources. Boom, all those are in. Okay, I have some seeds. Boom, all those are in. Okay, I've also got some seeds. Go over here. Boom, all those are in. And now I just have some cranberries and seashells. And I didn't really decide where to put the seashells, so let me just say, like, I'll put those... I don't know. I, where would I collect stuff from the beach? I guess let's just put it by the fireside, of course, so that I can be reminded of the beach when I turn in for the night. Um, and that's my life. There we go. Okay, cool. My life doesn't suck anymore. Everything is kind of together. I feel good, though. But I do think I'm going to leave it there, because that was quite a lot of organization. Let's just go to bed. What day are we on? We're almost three quarters of the way through the year, although it is slowing down now, I'm finding, because I'm getting better at the game. Like, I'm just better at it now. And in that, I do take some comfort, but also it is like... Look, this is a well-run farm now, though. It was terrible before. <laughs> it was awful. This was one of the worst farms until today. <laughs> Look at it go, though. I feel good, actually, about the stuff around me. <laughs> Hey, it's pretty, too. It, it, like, everything feels like it's in the right place, and... 
I'm proud. Ah. This was a very good idea. I can't believe I didn't do it before. I'm a dingus, guys. I'm a dingus. Anyway, I hope that did help somehow. I, th I think that helped me. Well, thank you for your help, anyway. I, that helped me figure out the game and my life in general. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this in my real life now. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm pretty good at this in real life, so... It's more or less how I organize things. Anyway, I think I am gonna leave it there. Um, and that's pretty much it for tonight. Yeah, 